What's going on, everybody? I'm Captain Robert, and this is Saved by the Spell 2. Game of Saving Throws number 56. <laughs> what, baby? Let's no. go. It's Friday night. I'm not naked. Are you naked? Uh, from the waist down, I am. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. There's nothing like naked ass cheeks on pleather. I'm telling you that right now. Just scoot around. After a while, you start getting sweaty. You just slide right off of okay. that. Oh, that's yeah. extremely didn't need. And there goes, <laughs> and there goes the monetization on this YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> if there's one thing that radio is good for, it is demonetizing your shit. <laughs> you know what? I gotta be good at something because I'm really not good at all that much. So, <laughs> King of the Taking the Joke, five seconds too long, Radio Mang himself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know. It's a pleasure accepting this award tonight, <laughs> and I just hope to God I don't die. Thank you. True. And I'll I'll see you in the afterlife. True. <laughs> it's fair. Becca, do you have a you got a new mug? This is actually the mug I used to have at work. This cost me a nickel. I got it at a garage sale, oh. and it's massive, and I love it. And I stole oh, it from some parent. She got there right after me. She's like, I would have bargained more for it. Oh, too bad. You were too slow. Anyway, I, I hope it's it. from like ceramics class 73. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's massive. I have no idea where it came from. It's a lovely yeah. shade of brown. It definitely, that's, that's early 70s. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's definitely a look. <laughs> you know, back in the 20s, a nickel would buy you a lady of the night. <laughs> that's... Thanks. Wow. Relinquished in command. Mudcat <laughs> will take it from here. I'm gonna... the only one who's going to make sure you can keep money, Robert. Uh, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> we're gonna, we're going to reference him as Steve Cat for the rest of the night. <laughs> it's uh, it's the mustache man. I gotta I, now now I have to act like a porn star. Yeah, if people do but trace the history like of the episodes. <laughs> Singer. <laughs> Sorry, I, I failed too. No. <laughs> it was too easy. <laughs> He's got nothing to say. Marriage Council D and D, folks. This I'm just gonna, gonna turn my sh I'm gonna turn my shit off for tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Uh, Destiny Two. We're doing a community Iron Banner <laughs> night on Xbox again. Uh, love you. Have a great night. <laughs> well, that's it, folks. The game of semi Thrones Two is uh, is now canceled. Officially <laughs> over. Fox, Fox got involved. I can have some fun. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> The network shut us down. Nothing we could do out of our hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, knock on Randy, Randy's pick of wood. Uh, you know, I've been able to uh, win every appeal, so I, you know, I, I plan on winning this one as well. <laughs> actually, what are, they, what are they actually looking for in these things when they demonetize things like that? I think if you if you curse a handful of times at the beginning of your episode, it's gonna flag you. It, it, like it seems to pull those or to pull your F-bombs, and then it goes back and it's like, ah, okay, that's fine. It's usually just language on mine. We, and... should, we should test it out and just start with dropping nope. like 15 Fs nope. in a row. No, we're not. Let's just replace it with Frick Frack. Nope. That's what I do. I can nope. do it. I can nope, do it. Not. Don't look at me. Don't even <laughs> plant that seed in my head. Nope. Because that'll sit there and fester. <laughs> nope, we've already ridden that line and I've seen where it's taken a week for the review. <laughs> when we got real sloppy one game. <laughs> That's been known to happen. I mean, it is D&D. &D. <laughs> well, you've already got your announcements built in uh, into your jokes. So you're ready to rock and roll. I'm uh, Fallon tonight. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Becky, you got any announcements this evening? Um, we've got stream bingo still going on. So if anybody wants to join the discord, they can hop in, play bingo, catch up at any point in time. All of the cards are called out in the discord channel. So anybody can play and win the title of bingo champion part two. And then also final fantasy. I'm going to play it again tomorrow night. Not another 22 hour stream. I cannot do that to myself, Wait, but did you do 22 hours of final fantasy. I have a problem. Yes. Um, is it that good? Just tell me. It is, it I is haven't very bought it good. Yet. I did 22 hours. Um, from Saturday into Sunday, and then Monday, I ended up playing till 4 a.m. when I stop at midnight, typically. And Tuesday, I ended up going to 2 a.m. 
um, <laughs> I'm not sleeping because of that game. I really Words. like it. Damn, Gina. Um, <laughs> it's very good. It's very good. It's driving me insane. Uh, I highly recommend it. So we'll be getting into that maybe near the end tomorrow. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see y'all there. <laughs> Bud, you got any announcements this week? Uh, not too much. I have a mustache now. Is that an announcement? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's about it. We're going to new Sea of Thieves content drops on Tuesday. Um, and so if you want to come pump my channel to the number one Sea of Thieves uh, content, sorry, Wednesday, Wednesday, the 22nd. Uh, if you want to come pump my channel to number one, I won't be I won't be sad about it. Uh, other than that, just uh, just the YouTube pumping the YouTube, which is right there in chat. Enjoy. YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> We're like, yeah, we're, we're rocking on YouTube. I'm like the two, we're like 234, trying to get to a thousand. We're, uh, we're gaining momentum. Now, if I could oh. just get all my videos to save and not delete themselves, that'd be great. <laughs> that is a challenge. You're going to need yeah. a wizard. Apparently. You're a wizard mudcat. <laughs> if I was a wizard, I wouldn't have lost three hours of work this morning. <laughs> So, Captain, what about you? Any announcements this week? <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm going to completely disconnect from social media and the stream station, and I'm going to go social distancing drink with my restaurant friends, and we're going to bitch and moan and uh, have a good time. So, yeah, Ooh. I'm actually pretty, pretty, pretty pumped about that. Uh, pretty pumped that it's going to be like, I'm going to be the only person getting a cab at like one, one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> one person. Yeah. I'm Should going to be the my one Discord dude. Open? That drunken discord pop in just in case. Yes. Mm. You never know. Redacted. You never know if I, <laughs> if I need to reprise from two years ago where I fl <laughs> flush, flush you down the toilet. <laughs> As I as I as I bait chat like I'm actually gonna come on and talk when in fact I can't talk. <laughs> memories. Beautiful. Thanks for the memories. Well, when was the last time you completely shut off all your social media? Uh, I don't. It's not that I shut it. Like I actually shut it off. Like I'll just be too busy talking to people to care. Convention. <laughs> conventions i'll go dark for like six seven hours because i'm actually talking to people and i'm like oh look at all this shit that happened <laughs> i don't know uh, the last time i actually just like turned everything off and just like left it mm -hmm. in a while now that i never get on facebook at all it's pretty easy pretty like because twitter's now if it's i'm on twitter it's just work like, especially like I primarily used it to connect with sports and other news. And now that there's no other news, it's real easy. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, I'm on there when I'm working and I can generally, if uh, I generally don't miss things now, if it was a post I was supposed to get to it, my, my, my web will aggregate it towards me. So like, I don't, I, I don't feel uh, like FOMOing that hard on it. So that's the beauty of Twitter algorithms. <laughs> they pump you all the shit that you, they want. They think you want to see. <laughs> this is hilarious. Slimy just got <laughs> looks like timed out for <laughs> liking your Call porno mustache. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <And they talk. laughs> some of some of you won't remember, but I you know this is not the first time I've rocked a mustache. <laughs> I also have I had a mustache the night Captain Robert and I met. Yeah. Played together for the first time. ESO. ESO days, man. ESO Freeze. days. I'm a cap. And the Ooh. callus your callus selected shader dream. I want to know. Oh, dude. So I, w I wish I had more highlights from the OG days, man. I, I have. I still have that clip somewhere. Just like the back and forth thing. <laughs> There's. And and there it was. It was Donald Trump in a callous selected shader. <laughs> I was like, of course he was. Purple, white, and gold, baby. Purple, white, and gold. Real, real dream, chat. Real dream. <laughs> Dude, I haven't heard from Ryan yet. Uh, like, I, I, 
I figured I'd see him streaming a little bit since the pandemic, nope. but I was I saw him yesterday. He was building Legos. Okay, is he still uh, just building chilling absolutely. building Legos? Cool. I, w I was lurking in his channel the other day while I was doing my show. It's great. I have a problem on Mixer where some of the people I follow just won't show up on my follow list. It drives me nuts. I have to like physically think of them and then go to their, their channel sometimes. Bizarre. <laughs> but uh, yeah, other than that, man, yeah, I'm gonna drink a bunch tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> these are the pandemic goals, man. <laughs> <laughs> other than that we're getting to a ton of the back end shit on the channel so expect some more shit that should have got lined out a long time ago <laughs> oh by the way can we give this man props for getting the uh the show sheets up in chat and commands if you ever wonder what a character is what their values look like what the, the sheet looks like you use a command with their name you can see the exact sheet we work off of and that was all done by him right there Oh, does it actually have a link to our uh, D&D Beyond as well? Yeah, finally found the public link on there. It wasn't always readily available, but now now they're there. Oh, mm -hmm. dope. Yeah. Ooh, Locky coming in with that roll 20. Get it, son. Nice. Nice. I will, I will take care and get you one of those gifted stream loot chest don't worry mods i will take care of it because i actually have it pulled up in front of my screen right now dude i've wanted to play eso the last couple of weeks so bad just no freaking time man i'm just gonna have to like play like offline yeah i kind of i kind of miss playing but like i don't know man there's just so much that like, I feel like we just got started in that game and then like there was so much like I never even finished a campaign in it Because there's, there's so, much so much adventure to, to do And yeah. it's, it's not a good stream game. It's a horrible stream game, but it's a great great game to be immersed in <laughs> Yeah so. Hey Mud, you want to come play Fantasy Star Online 2 with me? What the fuck is Fantasy Star Online 2? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody keeps talking about that game uh, it's 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 a free to play game. I hear it's a looter, and uh, you know it's it's something that you can immerse yourself in. So, I mean, oh yeah, come on. I'm in a I'm in I'm in a prison of of my own sea of thieves making. I think <laughs> doubtful I'm ever gonna leave it. At least not this you week. Know, the ocean is a great place to be. Oh, that's a horrible. That that's a that's a real bad idea, Rob. That's a real bad idea. That that was. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a real that was a real bad uh failed whisper there <laughs> <laughs> oops all right lucky lucky you better be quick <laughs> you better you better be quick if, if if somebody was talented in chat they would have sniped that bad boy but i don't think they did i think i got it just in time <laughs> i'm gonna uh, <laughs> Yeah, other than that, more quality of life improvements over on our side. Big up, Roll20, D&D &D Beyond. You guys are great. Thank you for the insider access and sponsoring our content for the course of the year. You guys are the real MVPs out there. Without further ado. Captain, are you ready? Oh, man, I can't wait. <sighs> Tell us. What happened last week on Save by the Spell 2 Game That's like that gif where like the guy's brain explodes into a galaxy. <laughs> yes. I tried, tried so hard. Literally, there's no more reverb or echo left. <laughs> that's some, that's some, I've, that's some I've used it all on that intro. You're welcome. <laughs> Beautiful. Last week, the party finally set sail to the Valley of Kurdu, headed towards the temple of the Eye of the Allfather with Captain Ruby at the helm, freshly let loose from her brig. Headed towards the Valley of Kurdu, made their way through a frozen 
ice cap wasteland where we got to see a handful of Valus's undead steeds pack mule the party all the way up to a very frozen like citadel in the side of one of the mountains upon seeing the runes from all the different giants stone hill fire storm frost cloud you guys made your way inside only to find a handful of barbarians trying to make their way in you guys got into an encounter proceeded to come out on top and now have one lothar one one fra uh one white dragon whelpling little z little z currently charmed and are still in this hallway leading up to those massive double doors Ooh, we got a party inspiration everybody's got a 1d8 thanks to the community let's go thank you this is where we will pick up Every... <laughs> i just need one more monitor one more <laughs> Get enough ports for that? I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to email you one right now. I don't know where I would fit it in this room of cables. <laughs> you guys are currently out of combat. It is a 24 hour charm situation between Lothar and Little Z at this point. Or did you kill Lothar? No. no, he's alive. Okay, Lothar's still alive. Lothar's my friend. Okay, huh. see, he, he was he was grayed out on my area. Right. I was just making sure. I was just making sure. I, I do, think I do that, have, like, that uh, makes it seem worse. Uh, I do have five zombies as well. Oh, that's right. That's right. And you did All raise his friends. You did raise the rest of his uh, rest of his friends. He thinks they're friends so still. They yeah. are. Uh, yeah, there's are there's armed. five zombies. tooling around with us. I'm actually going to command those zombies to line up in, in front of us as we go down this pathway. Just to make a wall in front of us. A meat shield. Damn. You just Perfect. stay back here with us, little Z. Also charmed. So it has to like radio as a father. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you become a good parent. Dang it. Hey, you Stop know what? Hester syndrome. throws it against the wall enough times, it'll eventually stick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like testing pasta. You just, you know, keep keep throwing it up there. Just every time it happens to be a kid. <laughs> <laughs> this one will work, I swear. If I leave it in the water just that much longer, it's going to stay, and I know it's going to be done. <laughs> Valus! Think those zombies of yours can pry that door open? Well, they sure as shit can try. What does this door look like again? I thought I remember it being massive and almost complicated looking. Uh, it's because you're in the middle of the hallway. Mm, that's right. I will, uh, I'll send the zombies to try to pull open the door. All right. You send your undead horde of barbarians back down the hallway. These doors 
40 feet high. 40 feet wide. Double set. As that pack of barbarians make their way over there, you can see just the layer of sheer frost on this door. It looks like they've been hacking away at it for a period of time. Haven't made as much progress as they hoped. I don't know if they'll be able to open that door. Looks like it might be to be uh, thawed out. Mister, do the do the thing with your mouth. Oh, yes, do the trick. You might want to have your uh, your zombies back up a little bit. Oh, Luther, um, come here, step boy. Out of the way. <laughs> Mister, you have the advantage card. Got it. Thanks, guys. It's just <laughs> gonna look up at the door. I got a lot of breath. And I know you think I'm full of hot air, but I don't even know if I can defrost this thing. Yeah, I believe in you. Go for it. At least give it a try. I mean, what else have we got to lose? You know any way to help amplify a little dragon fire? Would it help to focus on just like the edges? I don't have anything that can amplify it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't mind taking a little bit of a rest here before we go into the temple, though. You think there's more bad things in there? I just want to be prepared. I mean, I, I could go for a rest. We can, I can sit down for a minute. We can make... How about you work slowly on the door, he store, and we'll oh. rest up, yes? We can make a fire in front of the door. For both of us. And help melt and get us in and... Give us some warmth while we rest. What is the door made out of? You actually can't really see what the door's made out of because the frost on the outside is so thick. Jeez. Well, if you want to take a break, strike camp here. Get some rest. Dude. Figure out what we're going to be up against inside that door. I think we're going to have to. We don't have much of a choice. It's not like we can get through this door very quickly. Well, let's let those zombies beat up on it while we uh, recover a little bit, will you? Send, send, we can send them to go get one of the pine trees that are all on the outside. Get us some wood here. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, inst I'll instruct... Uh three of them to go get a tree and then two of them to hack at the uh the, the joints in the door the uh like the cracks and the hinges yeah i know parts of a door yeah yeah yeah, yeah. parts yeah, of a door you gotta remember parts of a ship it's a giant door i think you get it started yeah it's just Listen not it up <laughs> there'll be Undead barbarian stacked on top of the shoulders of another undead barbarian. <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. We're going to make a little impromptu camp as those undead barbarians are able to bring back a, uh, and they bring back like the entire tree. Like there's, there, there's even like a, uh, you know, a couple of animals that scurry out from the side. <laughs> But it's here. It's like uh it's like the Christmas tree on the old family truckster. Can you know, I, we have we had arsenic, we could cut this up real quick. 
Can I inspect that tree for a bird's nest with eggs in it? Roll survival check. DC 18. Eighteen. You find one solitary blue robin's egg. Uh, reach down into the nest to grab it, and that made perfect. I got a, I got us a little snack. Got us or just you? Well, you know, I guess you can share it with me if you want, but it's not even a snack, Valis. <laughs> Well, it's more than I had before. Ugh. That makes you happy, I guess. But <laughs> more, more eggs for me. Egg, egg. There's only one egg. You can't pluralize it. There's only one. It's just going to start taking his axe, chopping into this tree so he can break it up into firewood. I'll just start breaking off some of the easier branches up at the top. All right. You guys are able to successfully make a small camp, fires lit, huddled around it kind of awkwardly with our two charmed friends and the rest undead. But it's our merry pack of misfits. Go ahead and click that short rest off on your sheet. You can roll those hit die. I worry that this little bonfire is not going to do enough to burn it quickly. We'll probably starve before it actually defrosts the whole thing. I mean, yes. this is a massive door. Speak I'm not for yourself to... as I crack my egg. <laughs> Your tiny egg, the size of an eyeball. Better luck eating one of Lothar's friends. Yeah. Actually, it's not a bad idea. It didn't even look. No, I'm not going to eat it. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not that desperate yet. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying we're going to go Donner party, but it's an option, okay? <laughs> Shit took a dark turn up on this mountain. <laughs> it's cold. We just Ooh, saw what I'm happened to his group. Still alive. <laughs> we're, we're only hours removed from eating a hero's feast. Do you, uh, do you think doesn't Hester like the idea of starvation, okay? <laughs> do you think Hester tastes like alligator? I'm, I'm pretty sure history tastes like shit. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, sure what does. Is, what's your tail taste like? Hmm. <laughs> I don't have a tail. I'm a dragon born, not a dragon. Oh, yeah, your tail, tail bone, though. <laughs> don't eat my ass. You're more than welcome to, Valis. Uh, listen, listen. If, if it just comes to it, we should start with one of the ones that are undead. So... You know, because they're already dead. So it's not like we're killing, we're just recycling our food. Ruby, you really want to eat something that might be a meat shield for you What's for whatever's inside that door? I'm just saying, if we come to starvation, I'd rather eat that than you. So unless you would prefer to volunteer. I'm not saying you're yet, but if like, it comes to it. You're like fucking torment. <laughs> All you can do is think about your stomach. Well, it's very important part of me. I like my stomach and it respects me and I keep it happy. And as long as it's happy, then I don't get angry and you still get to live. And so does somebody else, maybe. It wouldn't be the friends. first time I've had you eat a friend. Oh, well, there's both are with that little tidbit. How many friends have you eaten, Lothar? Three. Oh, see, he's eaten three. That makes me way three. less worse than him. 
Both are. Have you ever eaten a dragonborn? Oh. You think he had dragonborn friends? <sighs> Not dragonborn, but uh, I have a whelpling. Tastes like chicken. See, chicken is good. Rubbery. Oh, that's kind of gross. Beggars can't be choosers. I'm not saying we're there yet, but Lothar makes a compelling taste argument if we need to. Ruby, <clears throat> you stay away from little Z. It's not little Z. We would start with one of the barbarians. They're dead already. So I wouldn't oh, have to- No, no, no. You don't them. understand. He was talking about eating dragons. Oh. Oh. Oh, I missed that part. I don't listen very well to him. He's rather boring. Then fine. We've, you can start with eating him. We have been on the side of this mountain for less than a day, and all of you are fucking crazy. Well... Thank you. At least Chikios is making some fucking sense. Fine. I know, and that well, is, that is a problem. If I, am, if I am the moral majority, things have gone to shit. If the door goes down, then we won't have to worry about any of this. I'm just saying we should make sure that we are prepared. And I said not to eat anybody who's already alive. I think it's a good logical idea that we focus on the dead. If, if we come to starvation. Yes? We're not going to be on this fucking mountain for that long. Well, you tell me. Let me see this progress on the door. Because right now that door looks fucking frozen. Actually, when you look up at the door. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> <You're a liar. laughs> you can see that the the fires that have been lit have started to expose the door hinges and handles that seem to be made of wrought iron oh the handles are 12 feet off of the floor oh okay well we're making progress fine we could open that now dominus Never, never mind. What? Dominus what? Well, if Dominus was here. He could take care of those hinges. Acid breath and all. Oh. Hmm. Well, I don't have that. But what if we just tried to open it? Now nah, we're gonna have to pop this door off the hinges if we want to get inside. What? How? Uh, if it's frozen all together, it's not going to matter whether they are on hinges or not. They are going to be a solid block of ice. Well, that's what the fire's for, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm gonna. My eggs now cooked. I'm gonna eat it. Hey. Uh, you can't keep making it plural. You only yes, have my, one my egg. eggs. My eggs. You and my can't eggs. keep in, doing it. Your egg. <laughs> my egg your is. Egg. They aren't my multiplying. Egg is. Yeah, you. My but eggs it's not cooked. Eggs. My eggs cooked. My egg is cooked. It's just contractions. No, that's not how. The, you can't just contraction anything that you want. That's not you how this works. Mud. This you is can. why I'm glad you're not teaching the youth of America. <laughs> oh wait. You can. You can make it contraction of anything with it, isn't it? <laughs> Fine, whatever. Can I hit that egg out of his hand? <laughs> Hope I'm gobbling it up. I want to try to smack it out. For the sake of brevity and your rest of your marriage, I'm going <laughs> to let Valus consume his egg. Good, thank you. <laughs> I, you know, it wasn't bad for a wild egg. Not bad. Not bad at all. A little uh, could, underwhelming, but... Could have used some salt. I figured that, that a sailor like you would have, uh, you know, a little bit of provisions on your side. Maybe a little bit of truffle salt. You never know what you find in hell. It's not <laughs> truffle salt, I can tell you that. <laughs> oh, God. Those fires continue to melt. Now you're down to a manageable angry amount like being frosted over with your vehicle. 
You think you might be able to make some progress, but you're not going to be able to see down the road. So, so what's on the other side of this door? Do we, do we think we know? Unfortunately, I don't think any of us listen to Roshnag enough besides Histon. I mean, if this door is so frozen, no one's, no one living that's going to be on the other side, right? All I remember is that he was talking about this just, this being the, the place that was the epicenter for all everything. It was the voice of their God. Oh, only the most penitent may pass, I guess. Dante finally comes strolling back in. Oh, look. If you needed fire, all you had to do was ask. We're resourceful. It's okay. I've been outside the entire time. How was it? Well, no one is coming. Oh, well, that's good. You did an excellent job then of keeping them away. Thank you. Like I said before, this is the temple of Amon, the creator, the all father. Of the giants. Yes. How does this deity look upon non-giants? Do we know? It really depends. Well, that's an open-ended then. <sighs> Should we have brought them like an offering or something? Like, um... Rats? I don't know. I don't know how to do gift-giving. <laughs> this is a place of knowledge. So more cool. importantly, a place where you seek knowledge. I'm sure we will find out truly what that cost is when we seek it. Ooh, that sounds like it's going to put us in debt to something. All right. Well, as long as we can get this door open, then we can figure out the next step, I suppose. Dante, you think you can go rip shit right on that door and pull it down? I could at least take the rest of the frost off. Alice? I'm gonna back your zombies down for a second so Dante can, uh, you know, work they're his already, magic. They're already away from the door. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Did you bring your zombie barbarian horde back? Dante <laughs> forms back into his true red dragon form. makes his way up the steps and just unleashes flame on the rest of those doors, melting it all the way down to the wrought iron handles that almost look hot to the touch now. It's just gonna look down a little Z and go, oh, that. Even I'm envious of that firepower. Thanks, Dante! Great fucking job! Whenever you are ready, I can assist with opening the door. It's just gonna look back at Ruby. 
and Valus and Chikios. I mean, we've had our rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on with it. I'm good. Let's go. I don't want to starve here. Let's go meet a non, Dante. Pull that door open. Let's have a conversation. Ruby, we are not going to starve on this mountain. Well, I'm just saying, listen, let's keep going, but just in case. Nobody throw my idea out. His hands on my hips, shaking my head. Dante's going to make a streak check to, to pop one of these doors open. I'm going to get my red dragon card up. Where's my Dante card? Got dad got game over here with a freaking raid going on. <laughs> <laughs> He's good for that. Ooh, I like plus eights. Plus eight. Net 20, don't need it. Get it, son. Let's Get go. It. Let's go. All right. As Dante lowers his shoulder in. That door pops. <laughs> Opening up to a dark chamber. Who wants to go first? These guys, obviously. I'm gonna send the send my zombies forward. Valus, <laughs> Valus, you sure you want to send them in? It's holy ground for giants. I mean, do you do you want to walk in first? I will. Give me a torch. I'll go first. These, these guys are expendable. Well, and, and the cat, but you know, you and I, we don't want to walk in here first. Uh, I'm just. I'll go I'm first. Thinking. I'll be fine. Gods don't necessarily prefer undead in their homes. That's true. Nobody does. Do you think the gods will be any, any kinder to us? I think they'll be a lot kinder to us if we don't send fucking minions of the darkness underneath their noses. <laughs> if you're afraid for your life. Ruby and I will take torches and we'll go in first. What if they carried us on their shoulders, like fancy people? Like targets. You oh, wanna, uh... <laughs> yeah, if you, if you know what? If you wanna, if you want them to follow up, then it's fine with me. Let's have them stay behind. Yeah, so I'll have them stay at the door. Do we have some torchy things? I grabbed part of the, the tree branch from part of the tree that we didn't burn. And I, I light it in the campfire that we used to burn the door open, melt it open. Hester okay. reaches, in, reaches into his pack and pulls out a torch and just sticks it in there. Well, thanks. I've got my DIY version, I guess. It's, uh, it's fitting. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. I'm going to hold my torch up and kind of lead it through the door first. I'm right beside you with mine. And I'm looking around as I take my first few steps into it. Very cautiously, like soft cat paws on the floor, feeling for, I don't know, anything like what kind of floor it is. Does it feel like it's giving any? Does it feel like there might be a trap? I don't know. I don't know what I'm expecting, like an Indiana Jones Temple of Doom scenario. <laughs> All right, roll an investigation check. Okay. <laughs> a five. <laughs> Looks like a very, very, very old temple. Great. <laughs> You're able to track some some cracks in the floor. Oh good. 
This place looks very old. <laughs> she says knowingly. It's also very hollow. Uh, Valus, you, you know you got a uh, fighting spirit card. Yeah, I saw it a while back. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure. I also have a uh, superior dark vision here. You can see 120 feet. 120 feet? Yeah. I can see up to 60 feet away. Oh. Is that what I think I see? Mm. On the map. When you guys walk in, torches lit up, you can see the silhouettes of several massive statues two that look very familiar yet different oh but when you I walk remember. in one of a massive stone giant the second of a massive hill giant in the center, you see a long, flowing cloak to a massive giant carved in the center. This ruby is why I didn't want to send in Valos' zombies. Hey, um... Well, what do we do from here? Like, do we, do we bow? Do we uh, sacrifice blood? I don't Ruby, know what to do. Humble yourself before a god. I don't know how to do that. Try. Um, she does this big curtsy bow, crossing her legs. Dear giant deities. I thought you were going to do the talking. We come... Uh, here. <laughs> I'm definitely I'm not sure what to say to this. going to address them. I'm sorry for... Just hurry up. I thought the pod was m- you prompting me to say something. I don't know what to say. I look like an idiot now in front of them. <laughs> it's just going to step forward with his torch in his hand. Almighty Anon! Your ordering has been broken. Your children are in chaos. We have traveled a long distance to help put them all to ease. But I think at this point we need your help. Roll a persuasion check. It's 29. 29. You see the hill giant statue (laughs) light up you see the stone giant statue light up as well Revealing further into the room. You can see a lineup of all the giant races. 
each a piece at a time. <clears throat> All now illuminating themselves. Oh, shit. Is this... Are they all statues? Ruby? Science had an origin point. It's here. Ruby's going to take a step forward. Just hold, not so much holding the torch up, but just wanting to see more of it and get closer to it. She's going to move forward four steps. Purely out of curiosity. We know and seen these giants. So is this where they're all... I, I guess all of them are from. Here? If you look at everything, there's an all-father. Anon is it, as he points. Stone, frost, hill, sky. The stone. Fire. I know her. Can I move over to the stone giant? While they are f familiar mm -hmm. in their race, they are adorned with ancient armor and weapons. These are clearly the individual ascended deities of each giant race. They're clearly marked in status. I don't know if you want to go over there, kind of gesturing to Ruby. Look at their armor. It's so impressive. Eyes to their class. Tribute to their god. This is so cool! Like that fur on the back of her neck is like standing straight up. Oh my gosh! They look like gods. How well, cool are these statues? These statues are. Let me make sure and get this correct. Statues are 40 feet tall. Oh. 20 oh. feet wide. The statue of the All Father in the center is double that. 80 feet tall. This chamber itself is massive. Thick frost clings to every surface of this hundred foot high vaulted chamber. Currently obstructed to where you can't see even the face of what you believe is an arm. You see each of these respective giants extending 
their weapon and their fealty towards Amon. Well, Hister, you seem to know everything about this place, so uh, what the fuck are we supposed to do now? Try and get the attention of the mom without having him kill us? You ever walk into church and pray that the Lord above Bahamut didn't strike you dead where you stood for your sins? Actually, I've never done that, no. Do I look like I go to church? Yeah. But this is a deity. Remember, the church is but stone and wood. And ice here. Different materials. But it holds the same principle. Respect. Admiration. And forgiveness. Well, definitely admiration. Look at this. And each giant, all here for it. Don't lose sight of it for a second. It's scale and perspective. If each one of these statues is what I think it is, We fuck up this conversation. We won't even know what hit us. I have, uh, I have 10 gold pieces on you getting yourself crushed by that giant over there. Well, that's positive thinking. Thanks a lot. <laughs> you always were a gambling man, <laughs> but gambling is a sin against Bahamut. I'm not going to take that wager this day. Well, not in these walls. So Whether you take it or not, I'll take I'll take my gold off your dead body when you're crushed. While they're bickering, I'm going to move a little closer to the all father. Just gently. That is quite a tribute to him. Do you think he can really help restore balance with the giants? Have we come to the right place, you think? Can he help them? I take a few more steps forward. I'm going to look back at the others. What if this doesn't do any good? What if... What if coming here cannot help the ordering? Ruby? You and I are just now starting to get to this point. But have you ever had faith? In anything? In you? I've always had faith in you. You had that faith with what? What concrete evidence did you have in your hand that it said you could trust anything that I let us into? I just always, I just always knew. You were my friend. You would always do what you can for us. Exactly. That's faith. It's knowing that the right path is laid before you by what is laid before you and not second guessing it's trusting in your God as each one of these as he points to every giant in the room put their faith in an on that's faith. Top of their order, gods of their class, 
yet. They're not ruling. They're here to pay homage and tribute to their god. Faith is blind following and sacrifice to know that your deity, your god, knows your path, good or bad. Something that I had forgotten long ago until Valis, you were eaten by hill giants. I turned away from mine, forgot what it meant to be who I am. Don't forget every single giant in this room would have given his life for his God on faith alone. That's why we're here. Because without faith, there is nothing. I understand. You have a lot of faith, Histor. I once had it, and I lost it. The friendship in this room restored it to me. So then you're welcome. You owe me one then. <laughs> I owe a lot more than one, Ruby Shore. <laughs> <laughs> Even this giant god before us would understand that. So how do we talk to him? I'm going to move closer again. How do we call upon the Saw Father to ask his help? Ruby? As in any god, humble yourself and ask. But you have to do it. From the truest form of you, or it'll fall on deaf ears. Oh, I'm not good at this. Well, it's a good thing we brought you along. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I think you do. Uh. Do I have to go to his face? I mean, I assume talking to his butt from here is probably not as effective. You want me to walk around with you? Yes, that would be really nice. What if he has a hideous face? It's not about his face, Ruby. Oh, look into his eyes and they could be really bad. He sets a hand on your shoulder. Put every worldly idea you have inside away. That's all I have. Push yourself beyond it. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Hey. I'm here with you. Let's keep going then. Together? <sighs> yes. She looks back at Wallace and Chikios. Are you two just hiding behind that door? <laughs> Me, I've been listening to you the entire time. Come bow before him with us. I'm just waiting for you to get on with it already. I guess been talking for an hour. Valus, come. Quit being an asshole. I will, uh, I will walk with Chikios. Okay, we get to the front. What does... What does the statue look like? It's all father. Right. We're going to have Chikios drop into his half elf form where he walks in. Or 
mark him with this token. Bring him around. Where would you like to be placed on the map, Mud? Or you have you have control, so. Uh, I'll just uh, I'll just be with uh, yeah, okay, just with everybody else. It's good. Copycat. No one's mentioned the fact that technically I'm undead. <laughs> When you make your way up to this massive statue, Mon, you can see that there is no face. It's completely faceless in just a massive body. Well drained, armored. Massive swords to the side. Dante leans over. It was said when they created this temple, giants who carved him left his face empty for fear of not doing the All Father justice. Sure, it doesn't leave a creepy statue. <sighs> How are you supposed to talk to somebody without a face? Guess we look at the ground instead. Have faith in your words. That's how you speak. <sighs> right. It's just gonna nudge Ruby. Besides, Remember your warrior queen of the Fey. Right. Exactly. I don't have to yell for him to hear me, right? Like, as a deity, like if I I use my indoor voice, he could he could hear me, right? Oh, you know, you are kind of small, so you might want to project a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get down on one knee and bow my head towards the All Father statue. <sighs> oh, All Father, we are warriors who have traveled from afar. And, um, well, honestly, I'm not very good at this. We're not very good at asking for help, but. But we need it. We've. We've seen many of your. Your grateful and wonderful giants turn monstrous towards one another and towards those of us in this land. Your ordering has become disrupted and has destroyed so much that we love. <laughs> We've come here because we need your help. Am I doing this right? I don't think it's working. I feel like this is... I feel like I'm just talking to Kid. a statue store. I don't think this is... Ruby. <sighs> Speak. We need... We need your help. We don't, we don't stand a chance and we don't want to, we don't want to do anything that would cause more harm to more if we don't have to. And to do that, we need, 
but we need true power. Will you look upon our group and will you aid us? All Father, we have traveled far and we have lost many. Can he hear us? I want you to roll a religion check with advantage and a persuasion <laughs> check with advantage. Okay, religion and then persuasion. Religion is a nat 20. Persuasion. Ruby the pious. Is also a nat 20. Oh God. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Thank you for those advantages because on the second roll of both of those. Can we get some more of that uh, Carl Sagan Cosmos Echo? Because my mind just got blown again. Oh. <laughs> Ruby the <It's> crazy. <laughs> Finally, the year of the double crit, it happens. <laughs> Speaking to a deity, Ruby pours her heart out <laughs> out of fear and frustration. Kistor, I don't think this is working. Ruby. We came all this way for you. I don't even do the cold. We just want to restore this peace. The ground begins to shake underneath your feet. I'm so sorry. I think you've got an answer. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Ah, this is why I don't do the talking. I have no filter whatsoever. Oh. That's exactly why you needed to do the talking. That is the worst choice. I'm mean. I'm not a nice person. I'm gonna. Ah, the, the ground is kind of freaking me out. Me. Oh, shit. Ruby. Ruby. Ruby Shore. Who knows my name? How do you know? How do you know my name? I am a nun. I am the All Father. I were. Oh my gosh. Hey. As you can see now, the face has lit up underneath the cowl in a radiant white light. You have come to my temple seeking the knowledge of my people. Only to help your people. I will tell you, Ruby Shore, it is I who has broke the ordinary. But... But why? Because of their complacency. Their... Their complacency? Do you deem this necessary for them? It will build a stronger order. I know that you have once possessed the conch of teleportation. I have seen what has transpired. And yes, it is true. King Hecaton is no longer on the throne. Oh. 
And what of you... What do you make of what we have done in this? Obviously, you have seen all. I have allowed... Your intervention. You come here, seeking more knowledge. What questions do you have for me, Ruby? She looks back at her group. Um, turns back around. We seek to restore peace at least. What is it that we must do to help? How can we help? In the strengthening of the ordering. So it may conclude. She looks back at the group for like approval, like, yeah, good question. <laughs> it's just gonna if, give her a thumbs up. <laughs> if you are to truly help my people, you will need to regain possession of the cons of teleportation. You will need to visit King Hecaton's court and decipher the evil that has infected it. That is what we desire. Unfortunately, the Ring of Winter has made this a little more difficult for us. You see, um, the Jarl of this North. King Storvard. Yes. The Jarl in the North plans to bring about an age of everlasting ice. Not a fan, I'll be honest. Sorry, I'm sorry. It, um, but that is not our initial desire. If we want to reclaim the Contra of Teleportation, we have to reclaim it from him. And then we can go visit the king. But our group, as strong as we are, Alone, we cannot face his army. So we need help. We need your help. If you are seeking aid, ability to help you overcome your stove you must earn that privilege Ruby Shore But it can be done. And what must I do? We will not back down now. You've seen what we have gone through. We are committed to this. Bring it on. <laughs> we will prove ourselves worthy. Because we are.
if you are to garner my blessing. You will need to go to a trial. A trial? And what will be tested? Your own strength and constitution will be judged in this temper. Could it be something I'm a little bit better at? No, okay, fine. All right. If Should you are to usurp one of my children, then you will have to contend with their guardian. Their guardian? And if you seek the blessing that you need to overcome, you will need to earn the respect from that son as well. That can be done. Where must we go? Where do we begin this trial? We didn't come here to back down. We're ready. The floor begins to shake again. Boys. As you look over and you can see the giant statue of the frost giant. <laughs> Begin to animate and step forward. As it moves forward 20 feet. To your left, the statue of the fire giant moves as well. Another 20 feet. That trial will take place here, Ruby Shore, inside these halls. You will prove yourself against Prim and Serta. In trial by combat. We accept. The other four giant statues all drop down into a knee. <clears throat> I need everyone to roll for initiative. Feeling pretty badass. I'm gonna pull out both my rapiers and do one of those like cool spinning things. <laughs> I, I think af after that conversation with a god, you deserve it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well done. Oh. All right. It's just rolling with a 19. I am a 19 as well. All right, let's roll off. Straight. Ready? Go. 14. You beat me. I'm 11. Okay. 22. <clears throat> Hister. Uh, 
I'm a 19, but below Ruby, who's also a 19. All right. We're going to go ahead and let you guys go use the restroom real quick and oh, refill God. those beverages before we get in the thick of it. Mm -mm. Sweet. Mm. <laughs> Chat! <laughs> You guys ready for this? Oh, dude, I didn't find that music piece until tonight. Oh, I knew immediately I was like, that is a noms piece when whoever gets to talk to him. Oh, I love, I love Hister fostering the conversation for Ruby. So good. Mm. So good. They did that well. <laughs> Epic moments, my friends. <laughs> Thank you for it. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I'm ready for the showdown, man. Oh, sorry, Hulk. Get some sleep. All right, I'm going to go grab my beverages. I'll be right back. Tag, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man i'm s I, I honestly if, if there was any moment where i could be proud papa that was it right there <laughs> oh hister's ready only problem is hister wishes he was on the other side he might have a frost giant axe that will uh you know uh get extra cold damage but i mean his real resistance is fire and we're surrounded by fire on the left and frost on the right and guess what side he's on <laughs> well thanks double i appreciate the love dude ruby fucking killed it dude ruby is having fucking just absolute rp slayage so proud. But it's funny too, because it's all it's all inspired because Hister Hister has a relationship with his god again because of Ruby, because of Vallas, because of Chikios, because of Nightcock. But in his conversations with Ruby, he hasn't been totally convinced that she has her own deity that she can call upon. She doesn't. Much like he has. So, you know, for him, it's like, he he's going to, he's gonna wanna push her like any evangelical Christian you've ever met. But unlike him trying to convert her to being a follower of Bahamut, he wants her to find her own path because of the relationship they have. It's, it's more like, and I, I wouldn't use the whole the whole father daughter thing. It's a it's a mutual respect because he knows from their conversations, especially the cell conversation, that she's not fucking about. She's still lost, quote unquote, but still there's direction there. Her direction is that she wants to be her own deity. <laughs> she will become a god before she worships any god. Mm. <laughs> Which is amazing. I mean, who knows? That's Man. what she wants right now, at least. <laughs> She's young. Who knows? Yeah, but you know who who wasn't twenty six thinking they were their own their own god? <laughs> mm -hmm. I am the big. golden god. <laughs> we'll jump off the fucking roof into the pool. Why? I mean, we're gonna because... wait towards it, okay? <laughs> I mean. <sighs> You, you've done a pretty damn good job at this point navigating uh, navigating your way through it. So, I mean, why not? Yeah. I mean, at this age, 
she has the potential maybe like 20 years down the road <laughs> you never know you mm. never know <laughs> why not if she cared enough to put in the effort to become a god that's the thing holding her back it, you don't put in the effort to become a god you either are or you aren't <laughs> Okay, Jack Burton, just mm -hmm. calm the fuck down. Mm -hmm. It's no amount of work that'll get you there. You just, you know, you're either born with it or you're not. <laughs> That's not. No, no. How are gods made? No one knows. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Ruby poses an interesting mm -hmm. prose. How are gods made? How did Anam become the All Father? Was it divine? Was it handed out to him? Was he there at the core of creation? Did he take it? Or did he take it? I'd tell you, but the YouTube video would be not demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, I already took care of that at the first, I, I, honestly, probably the first eight seconds. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, we all got to be good at something, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, sir. The check is in the mail. Somebody got the pork chop express comment. <laughs> you know what Jack Burton says at a time like this? Peanuts. Who? No. Jack Burton. Me. <laughs> Notice how we all shut up like a god had just sat down at the table. Mm, that's true power. Volus is going to uh <clears throat> Volus is gonna lean over to Dante and elbow him and say Now uh now might be a good time to do the whole uh you know dragon thing. <laughs> Before we start our initiation, knowing that we're going to hop into this trial. Can I bring out my brazier of commanding fire elementals and ask Histor to light its flame? Come on, baby, light my fire. And summon a fire elemental? Since we know there's a big prep for all of the stage to be set. <laughs> or do you want me to use it as part of my first turn? You're going to have to at least give me a bonus action. I'll be benevolent. I'm not going to take your full action away. Okay. But I'll say that it was on your on your mind to go because there's no way in hell you're lighting up a brazier with a fire elemental in front of talking to this thing. But it's fine. you can certainly have cool. that card back behind your back ready to go. Cool. Cool. I'm at least because I know I'll need his store probably for his store's bonus hey, action to light it for you, me. You got a torch in your hand. You have oh, plenty yeah. of elements. Uh, oh, I have a yeah. torch. <laughs> I have the power. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead. And, uh, I need to roll Dante's initiative. Give that bad boy a public roll. Dragon form. 19. Let's go. Get it Woo! on. All right. That's a 24 for Dante. <laughs> Swinging and hitting, baby. Let's go. As you lean over into his ear, you wish is my command, Mr. Vallis. <laughs> Yeah, that'll that'll help. All right. Ooh, yeah. All right. Right. Get a proper zoom in on this temple. Okay. J 
just for reference, you can see the sheer size of the room in these statues. Now, when these tokens become mobile, there's gonna be a marking of a statue on the map that will be open. That will be free territory. Mm -hmm. These modules were made before they adapted them for roll 20. So there's actual physical art still left on the map. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> got it, got it. All right. So Dante is going to start off the round. <laughs> My sons, Rim, Sartor, even in death, bring your father honor. As you can see, their eyes light up respectively cold blue an orange red fire the sword of Surtur <laughs> erupts in flame Grim's axe <laughs> shrouded in ice Dante is going to move steps back from the rest of the party. He's going to use his breath weapon immediately on Thrym. He's going to have to make a dexterity saving throw. the card I'm looking for. <laughs> Dude, this map has Chrome operating like it's 1995. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is processing some shit. <laughs> mm. You know, for this for the sake of it, I'm probably just going to, I'm going to drop dynamic lighting because it is chugging. Yeah, so I can get rid of it. This is the only thing in, in this version, this is the only temple proper. Like it's just this one big square. So you're going to see a bunch of other crazy shit, but that's not going to matter. Big ass map. It's a huge Jesus. map. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Good so many Lord. One square equals 20 feet, too. Yeah. Ah, shoot. Hot okay. damn. Mm. One square is 20 feet. That is not how we're operating this map currently. Okay. There's some, <laughs> there's some, sort, of, there's some sort of orgy to the east side <laughs> going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's All not right. an... You don't know. Hey, you leave them alone. Mm. They're doing something else right now. <laughs> They're doing their own thing. All right. Their own battle. All right. The Jarl's got to make that dexterity saving throw. It is a negative one. Yes. Hot damn. Good. Let's go. Yeah, that DC... Uh, Dante's DC Jeez. on his breath weapon is a 21 now at this point. <laughs> oh, big boy. Let's go. Dante unleashes 63 points 
of fire damage into the direction of that stone statue of the Jarl as you can see the frost begin to melt. As it absorbs this energy, you can see it refrosting over in front of your eyes. Dante is going to take flight and just hover about 20 feet above the ground. All right, Valus, it is your turn. Uh, I'm going to... Uh... Uh, Valus is going to turn to the uh, the fire giant and crack his knuckles and crack his neck and say, uh, well, I guess we're fucking doing this. And he's going to raise one hand uh, as his action to cast Ray of Frost at the fire giant. And with his other hand, he's going to summon the zombies into the room as his bonus action. All right, the zombies, we're going to have pressed up against that door, ready okay. to go. So they're going to be able to run in their maximum dash, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Yeah, we're going to put them okay. like this. And Lothar is stupidly... They've got... Uh, <laughs> Lothar is not with them. They've got orders to... Uh, they've just got orders to attack whoever I'm attacking. All right. For the time being, um, whenever they can get there. So, all right, I'm using Ray of Frost with the other hand though. That has a 27 to hit. Uh, 27 to hit on Surtur. Yeah, the, the fire giant to mm -hmm. my left. Yeah. All right, 27 will hit. Mm. Okay. That's going to be 16 points of cold damage and his speed is reduced by 10 until the start of my next turn. 16 points of cold damage. As you can see, that ray of frost spray up the line of his fiery sword as it barely extinguishes it for a second before it relights. Uh... <clears throat> And that'll be, I guess that'll be it for my turn. Actually, uh, no, nah, that won't be it. I'll, uh, just, uh, I get How far are these squares? Are they 20 feet or 10? No, the square that you move is five. It's five okay. feet. Okay. So these are just five. Uh, then I will... I'll take uh, I'll take uh, some steps back here towards Dante. Mm. Just kind of backing up as I some of those zombies and and frost him. And that's it. <clears throat> All right, Mister Faust, it is your turn. Woo! We let's go get some mm. boys. <laughs> <laughs> Ever, ever, ever take the effigy of a giant's god, son? <laughs> yeah, catchy. Hister, shirts. Hister's gonna mean business with this one. He's going to reach out behind him and instead of grabbing his favorite weapon. He's gonna grab his fire giant's broadsword that he took off Oscar and Il Domain. He's gonna slam it against the ground and as he does, that spark ignites the sword to a giant flame. He holds it out with one hand, then brings it down so he can grip it with his other. He's going to rush in, and as he's running in to trim, he's gonna cast Hunter's Mark on him for his bonus action. 
and he's going to hit him with a great weapon master strike on this fire giant broadsword and expend one of his flame charges on it. So that is going to be a fucking nat 20, which means I'm also going to drop a brutal critical card. <laughs> nice. Let's go, dude. Oh, nice. Perfect timing, too, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> Rolling hot. All right. Let me pull together all the dice that are going to make up this nonsense. <laughs> Hurt him, uh, hurt him. Brutal critical on a nat 20. All right, so that's going to be double plus one, extra double. So it's double time. So it's really three times. I got to read vertical. I got to read brutal critical. It's been so long. Now you get to add an additional die. All right, additional die. Okay. Players can roll one additional weapon damage die. Okay, cool. So I need another one of those. Got it. All right. Cool, 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 cool. It's just, it's just the one shot. He right just now. dies instantly. You, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Would, wouldn't that be a statement to not? You actually, Shockwave rolls out. You kill all the giants and the god, and you become <laughs> um, the god. Done. Oh, wait, I need, I need the flame damage on that. That is uh, 2d6s. Got it. All right, do I need to break out the flame damage away from everything else or just roll it all together? Roll it all together. Okay. I love this song, by the way. Yeah. This is fucking awesome. This is all your uh, Nicholas Johansson. Yeah, the, the, I, like the, I always like this one. The Vala Suite. By the way, you need to move your token, Radium, where you're going to be positioned. Holy fuck. That's going to be 102 points of fucking damage. Yeah. Damn, son. Hit him. Hit him. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Now, when I do like 14 points of damage after this, it's well, because I had Hunter's Mark on him as well, so that <laughs> and the extra fucking brutal critical die. <laughs> that, that was awesome. It was well, 100 points of base damage and six points on the brutal critical, but fuck, I'll take it. Are you are you dumping any smites? <laughs> um, I, can, can I dump a smite onto that? Yeah, you're a paladin. I'm, I'm, that's what you do. God, I, you better fucking I believe him, but I'm going to dump a smite on that. Don't worry, just small suggestions I make when you're fighting gods. Well, I, 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 I smite I, thee. I, I didn't want to take more than I had because in my mind, but playing a card is a bonus action. You're, so you're, you're, you're a paladin. You can, anytime you want with me and my games, you can choose to dump smites. Perfect. Can I, dump a, right. can I do that? You're a paladin. Can, That's what you I do. Can I, can I do that? Yes. Yeah, that's the uh, whole point. Like paladins and 5e get these massive swings. And yes, the smites are criticals. So that is going to be a total of 112 points damage then. I need you to double the damage of those smites. Double? Okay, 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 okay. Um, keep, let the, keep your the, radiant damage separate. Okay. On that, so double the damage on the smite it's 102 so that's going to be uh 102 point uh, 102 points of slashing damage and 22 points of uh radiant damage 22 points of radiant damage Whew. take Go him to the all father Go ahead and give me a description of how you want to parkour up and take this strike, Radio. This massive critical. Hester is running Naruto style with this flaming sword behind him. And as he pushes into the ground, he jumps up, takes that swing backhand as he grabs with a second hand across 
the chest and then swings back down as he lands to the ground. As you can see, as it carves in to this stone form and strikes to, you can see it leak out what looks like radiant light where your strike lands. And that was strike one. <laughs> Roll that beautiful bean footage. Second strike coming back with another divine smite. Great, we great weapon master attack with Hunter's Mark. The plus on that, on the giant broadsword. That is going to be a 16 to hit this time. I will not hit. Shit. After one severely damaging hit, he tries to swing back a second time. Just doesn't find purchase. You do have inspo, right? Mm -hmm. It's done. Fair enough. I've, I've, I've taken I've taken liberties with the DM's justice so far. I, I could probably spin that and hit, but you know Go what? Go for it. I do what you that. want, man. You can always save it for a rainy day. I mean, shit, I've already spent the smite, so if he's going to let me do it, I'm going to add another six onto that. This has got to be a record for amount of damage done in one deal for you. <laughs> so that's going to make it a 22 to hit. 22 does not hit. Whoa, oh, 22 doesn't hit. Oh my God. Even with the, the burnt inspiration, we are he's out of play. Giant. Okay. There it is. Two miss hits and a spent inspiration. That's going to end my turn. Oof. Ruby Shore, it is your turn. That brazier. I'm going to throw my torch into it. I summon thee, the fire elemental. So it's been a hot second since I've had one. Its attack is separate from mine, correct? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Sweet. Oh, no. Look how cute he is. As you he raise might. that fireman elemental up from the brazier in front of you, Ruby, consuming your bonus action. All right. We'll get to Henry in a second. Or should we, let's go ahead and start with Henry. I'm going to have Henry try to attack the ice giant. Let's see. Let's have Henry roll with this one. Actions. Okay, so we're going to do multi-attack and it's going to have to be a touch. So Henry's going to have to get face to face with our new ice giant friend all right move all right. them where you want them that is going to be a 17 and that one doesn't hit if i remember correctly 17 does not hit okay that's great mm, it's not giving me wait oh Anything it's because it's because i uh haven't given you control i'm sorry okay i was like i'm trying to click all over mm -hmm. there you you go <laughs> perfect Mwah, right up, face, face. Well, not face, obviously, height difference. I don't know, maybe he's kissing his knee or something. Hugging his shoe. Yeah, hugging his shoe. <laughs> All right, going for the second attack. That's a nat one. That's a nat one. There's a price to nat 20s. <laughs> <laughs> Is your fire elemental just trying to give Rim hell. It just raises its foot up and over. Henry's warming up, okay? As you can see, Henry is now trapped underneath his foot. Uh -huh. He's still there. It's just flavor. Yeah, that's fine. It's just that nice. one flavor. Poor, poor Henry. <laughs> dumb, dumb. Great. Great. Um, 
balls. Okay. Well, from there, I am going... I'm going to do a constitution saving throw. I am going to blind or try to blind the fire giant at the fourth level. And when it's at that, at the fourth level, you can dart it. Yeah, target an additional. Oh, wait, I saw it above the second, so I only really needed to charge it at the third. So sorry. Third level. So I can actually, with blindness and deafness, at this. When you cast a spell using a spell slot third level or higher, you can target one additional creature for each slot above the second. So I'm going to target both. Both giants for a constitution saving throw. To try to blind both of them. I'm sure their constitution is great, but I'm going to try. All right, constitution saving throws. I will roll them individually. Okay. All right, Grims. Nat one. <laughs> oh. Gouge his eyes out. Oh. It's not Get perfect. that shit. Yes. To suck. Yes. Take my 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 roll one bad karma. Let's pass it along. My gift Holy to thee. Holy shit. It, nerd. You lose the sight. <laughs> Yes! Sir Tur. <laughs> Double nap ones! You no. gotta be fucking what kidding way, me! Double nap oh, twenties and double nat ones in one night. Look here, G, they ever. Shall appear. <laughs> That's Yes! Not even possible. Do the math. Not even possible. Dude, and then Nighthawk rolls a 20? No, no. Dude, Mud, you don't understand. That is pushing Sans Siri through the moon door times oh. a thousand. I am all powerful. And then Nighthawk comes with a nat 20 in chat there. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Jesus. Mister, you are now inspired again. Thanks to Nighty with a 1d10. Oh. What's up? I'm gonna call my next child Nightcock. <laughs> you, you, you know what? You do what you're gonna do, I guess. Yes. <laughs> mm. Blinded, both of them. Take it. Those yes, were. Yes. Those An were both God. plus twelves. Oh, oh God! That wow. Also. <laughs> I'll just save that. I'll save that for stay for a spell. Oh, All right. please do. Please what's, do. I can't oh, wait. Twelve plus one. One. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. Oh, so oh. your your yeah. spell verbiage. <clears throat> Which spell did you cast again? Blindness. Blindness. Mm -hmm. All right. At what level? Third. <laughs> Third level. Is it? Blindness, <laughs> blindness, deafness, and you're choosing you know, you're choosing blindness. Yes. At the third level, I can target two creatures. At the end of like each no of its turns. Going higher. Okay. So I thought, yeah, that seems logical. <laughs> Why waste that higher slot? Because I figured they probably have great constitution, but I was just gonna hope for the best and All right. rely upon my attack rolls against them now have advantage the creatures have disadvantage let's go let's go come on yeah let's go <laughs> let's go they will roll 
at the end of each of their turns, they will make a constitution saving throw. That's fair. All right. <laughs> Anything else for your amazing turn, blessed by the gods, Ruby? No, I'm good. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to go for something else? I mean, you're apparently walking on water right now. I've gotten nat 20s and nat 1s in the same turn, so I think I should probably cool. Ruby, you need to go ahead and RP that epic moment of casting from both of your hands up towards the eyes of both of these statues. Sons of God stand no chance against us. And I envelop them in darkness. Is there eyelids go dark in milky white underneath no longer able to see the cold blue or the flames <laughs> that'll be the end of your turn <laughs> i think you've done enough damage i think i've peaked <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna get any better than that so nope. you might as well hang it up I <laughs> mean I thought a nat 20 and a brood of critical on that first strike was gonna be good we were just pairing up really well right now you, you, you've outplayed me I missed my <laughs> second shot hey hey remember my fire elemental got stepped on <laughs> <laughs> hey, Henry was embarrassing me, okay <laughs> I had to hide that embarrassment <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> okay, okay. I have another name from my sheet. Who the hell is Clovis Rumblebelly? Uh, <laughs> what? That's all on you, dude. That that is a Rumble drunken belly. mumbling. Who the fuck is Clovis Rumblebelly? That I don't. I don't know, know but I'm gonna put it in my notes as a you, question mark. You make it up NPCs. <laughs> this is this is another unmarked name. Where is it? Like it's where is it? It's before. It is. It's after Dante Alfonso by two lines, and I've never, I've, I, I guess I've already read it and forgot it. Clovis Rumblebelly. Rumblebelly. Uh, obviously, we were playing Destiny, and you were having way too good a night, and you went, oh, wait, we're hungry. We're on Mars. Clovis Bray, I'm hungry. Clovis Rumblebelly. I'm going to put that in my notes, and I'm going to make a character out of that at some point. I got protection. All right. she said what does that do again <laughs> i am There's going to run things. back towards dante and i'm going to begin casting a spell as it takes all of my concentration I hold my hands up and you can see the fireflies begin to congeal as I start opening up a massive portal. That'll be the end of my turn. Where are Romulus and Remus, by the way, outside the door? No, they're, I mean, they're, they're back. They, they don't stay that long. Oh, okay. Uh, conjured woodland beings. I forgot about it. I I, I forgot to, to wave goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I know we had them earlier when they charmed everybody, but they were like, "See you, girls. We gotta go get our nails done." <laughs> um, uh, worm blood is also no longer in this this combat. <laughs> Are you talking about little Z? No, technically those barbarians were called worm bloods. Um, oh, okay. All right. I mean, technically they are, but in a different way. <laughs> now they're zombies? Eight shields mostly. Oh, somehow we skipped 
Thrym's turn. Who's? Thrym's turn. He was at 18. Oh. We're just gonna rewrite it then. We're just gonna put them both in at 12 then. Mm. All right. Satur is going to step forward. <laughs> It's going to take a massive swing with his sword. I'm assuming at me. At you and Chikios will have to make a dexterity saving throw and Ruby. Valus, you do not. This is just from flame like coming close to you. All right. The first is going to be an 18 to hit. That's gonna hit. <clears throat> Unless. All right. Hit. Ruby, you and I gotta make dexterity saving throws. I just got a 10. Go. Oh. What's yours, Ruby? Oh, that's right. He's blind. He's blind. That's right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Disadvantage. They have to, they have to, he's got to swing again. And Ruby and Chikios will not be making. Oh, okay. Dexterity saving throws. Let me no. roll that again. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me of. Toys. <laughs> um, okay. Here's his disadvantage roll. 16, that'll be higher. So 18 is the low. Yeah, still, it's still gonna hit, still gonna hit. All right. It's gonna do 28 points of slashing Damn. damage. Plus. Fuck me. 17 points of fire damage. 17 points of fire damage. It's damn near a one hitter. <laughs> That's why Chikios is in the back. I tried to step back too, didn't work. It's going to take its sword back up over the top and try to slam it down on Ruby. Mm. Remember, this is with disadvantage. If he's if he's standing mm. as close to me and attacks somebody else, do I get an opportunity of attack? No, it's just the sword okay. is that long. All right. All right, 22 on the first. 14 with disadvantage. Hmm. I'm assuming you're going to be safe at 14, Ruby. Your yeah, mic is dude. off. Nope. <laughs> you're muted in Discord. There we go. Is that better? <laughs> yeah, now we can hear you. Much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I've been saying all these witty things. No, um, yeah, 14 doesn't hit. Likely story. <laughs> Fair enough. Really good. Mm. All right. After Zatur blindly swings, missing you, Ruby Shore. You can see the flames from his sword rise up, up and over 
to the rest of his body as now that stone structure seems to be galvanized and harder than what it was before they're gonna roll public roll constitution saving throw I am going to do this with disadvantage because of the the nature of two nat ones this would normally be a straight roll Mm. 26 on the first 29 on the second Mm. all right i i I clicked three times I like that third roll the best. Can we go with that? <laughs> Can we go yeah. back to that third Double roll? Double disadvantage. <laughs> All right. It's still high enough though, right? With a five. That will end. No, I mean the that that one doesn't. That's yeah. Even not a roll. The, yeah. So it's its eyes are going to return. There. Now, since that was the second roll. I'm going to have that on Thrim's first attack roll. It's going to swing its ax down at Hester for a 17. Which will miss. Which will miss. It's going to swing at you again, Hister. This time, a 15 it will miss again no reason to re-roll either of those Grim does the same frost raises up over his body and galvanizes the stone around him this will be the roll with disadvantage to see if it recovers from blindness That's a 14. 14 will fail, correct? 14 does fail. Rim is still blinded. Yes. Yeah. I sound like a goblin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> I'm turning gonna, into a monster. I'm going to eat your spleen in the middle of the <laughs> night. <laughs> All right. Rim is going to hold in place where he is at. Dante is going to move slightly to the side in the air. (laughs) Breath weapon, don't fail me now. We need a five or a six. Come on, baby. That's a six, baby. Let's go. Let's go. go. All All right. All right. All right. Dante is going to unleash his breath weapon again. (sighs) 63 points of fire damage if it will fail this save, which it has to do with disadvantage. Not that one. Come on. Oh, oh, man. Man. Yeah. What the Crip fuck? that shit. Let's go. Oh, Holy now. shit. Burn. <laughs> These rolls. It appears that whatever barrier Thrym had just put over his body has weakened and broke. 
as the galvanizing frost is peeled back once again with a massive breath weapon attack. That'll be the end of Dante's turn. Valus. Uh, okay. So... When I attacked him with the Ray of Frost, could I... You said the, the fire went out on the sword. Could I tell that he seemed to be affected by it at all? It does... It looks like it does normal damage. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep summoning these zombies over, but I'm using my bonus action. I'm gonna change the objective for them to uh, not attack, but to to basically guard me. Is their new their new priority? <laughs> the meat shield. Yeah. Meat shield their me. New, their new priority is to defend me at all costs. It's a very valus move. Just, just to stand in front of me. I mean, attack if they can, but mostly just to just to defend. Um, All right. So that's the bonus action there. But before I before I get them there, I'm going to uh, I'm going to kind of kind of see the effect of the cold. I'm gonna look around and go hmm, and I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to just look back and forth and look, size this guy up, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna spit in my hands, and then I'm. <laughs> That's a gross choice. You didn't have to do that. Oh, I'm gonna spit in my hands, and and from this, and from this spit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean down. And I'm <laughs> this God damn it, radio! I will mute you. <laughs> We don't I'm need it. I'm gonna spit my hand, and I'm gonna hold my hand out, and I'm gonna go, and I'm casting tidal wave, and that that spit from my hand multiplies into a huge tidal wave. He's gonna make a deck save. If uh, you drown him in your slobber. If 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 it's another nat one, you get him off. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no other source of water around from spitting in my hand. That's disgusting. I could have pissed on him, I guess. I could have pissed on him, but. All right. <laughs> dexterity saving throw with disadvantage, correct? It's, uh, yeah, dexterity saving throw, yeah. Oh. 10 feet wide, 10 feet tall, 30 feet long. Don't you wish? Yeah. 12. That'll fail. Nine, dude. These rolls. So, uh, not only does he uh, he's gonna take damage, but he's also gonna be knocked prone. Ooh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that's, <Ooh. laughs> that's worth spitting your hand for, right there. It will use its legendary resistance to maintain. Okay. Um, on two feet as this tidal wave smashes in. That'll be 24 points of bludgeoning damage as I blow that spit out of my hand. It just just creates a massive tidal wave as it expands. It just envelops over and just crashes down on his head. Hey, let's and, do uh, that shit anime style. You could actually see the ethereal corporate form of your ship inside this tidal wave as it actually just keel stomps in yeah. front and that ethereal form of your ship breaks away as the wave crashes into his body <laughs> however i will not take away your added effect it will extinguish the flame on his sword for a round. Dope. So, um, yeah, and then I'm using the bonus action to pull these guys in in front of me. Um, as a, as a shield. And, uh, yeah, 
That'll be it. Actually, hold on one second. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> mm. Fucking, I I'm gonna use the second wind, actually. Because I forgot I had it. Glad well. to see namesake is already over the quote board. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's good for. <laughs> he, just, he, just, he, he just lurks until there's a time to quote something. <laughs> this is important. Hold on, what's the uh, second wind is... Work. What's the roll on the second wind? I can't remember. Roll on... Uh, what were you asking? I'm sorry? Second wind. What's the... I'm using the second wind card, so... I can't remember what the roll is it's on it. It's 1d10. Is it 1d10? I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna say yes, because... I don't really know. Uh, I'll look. I'm going to use those second I'm pull, wind. I'm pulling it up. Second wind player can use their bonus action to regain hit points equal to 1d10 their character level. Got it. Plus their character level. Oh. Okay. That's a good chunk of healing then. A heal. All right. Cool. <clears throat> Thank you, chat. Mr. Right, Faust! I'm done. All right. Big fucking frost giant in front of me. Let's do a divine smite. Great weapon master attack. Get the shit out of the way. Gotta be fucking kidding me. It's another fucking nat 20. Let's go, baby. Woo! Let's yeah. go. Let's make them cry. I want to take a picture of that one. <laughs> Listen, people. So let's burn another brutal critical on that. So I got brutal criticals to spare. Yes. Thank That's you to chat for those. Divine smite. This one with the flame D6. My divine smite. If in there's there. ever a night for them to be hot, Chet, this is the night. And the hunter's mark. They've been hot and cold, though, like flip flop. <laughs> like the giants. <laughs> the dichotomy. That's true. This is true, Perry. Katy Perry song. Okay. Mm, oh, that's what I needed. It's one, it's five. It's an extra one. Yeah, it's in there. Okay, cool. So, break down on that first strike. It is 108 points flashing damage. Let's so go. The radiant, the, the radiant is an additional eight points. Jeez. And with that little protective ice shield down. All right. You once again do massive damage to that avatar of Thrym. As you open up another gash that spills out radiant white light. Okay. Swing again. Divine smite. Great weapon, great weapon master attack. Oh, fuck it. I'm going to burn the inspiration mm -hmm. on that. Okay. That is going to be a 23 to hit. 23 will not hit. Fuck me. Ooh. <laughs> but like nat 20 is the only thing that hits them? Jeez. All right. <laughs> wow. Point of reference, 24 did hit. That's really freaking high. That's nice. It's not what my rolls have been outside of a nat 20, but okay. 
What do I have in the back? What do I have in the back pocket as a bonus at this point? <laughs> Shit. All right. It's going to end my turn. Ruby Shore. Ugh. Hey, yo. <sighs> right. Well, I'm a bit terrified. I know these are some real friggin' badasses, so we're going to cast Steel Wind Strike. the fifth level on them on on our ice friend all right okay let's see if i can make all five yeah. swords going okay. in on thrim let's see if i can make five of them hit at least 24. <laughs> oh yeah this is gonna be hard yep but we're doing it okay you do have one inspiration. I do. I do have one inspiration. Okay, that is going to be when I use my inspiration. <laughs> so that will make it a 27 for that first, first one. one will my hit. inspiration is spent. Second one. Uh, that's going to be a 26. So that one will hit. 26 will hit. Mm. The third one does not hit. I, I just rolled a three. I'm not going to even add it up. <laughs> fourth one. That one is going to be a 27. That one hits. And I've got one more I can roll. Right. Okay. That is going to be. 25. So we get four hits. Hey. That's damn good. I'll take it. I'll take the four hits. Okay. Now let me pull out my phone because those each do 6d10 of damage. So if you guys want to chat for a bit, I'll just do add all of them up. And I'm just going to do. What is four times six? 24? 24. I'm going to mm. roll 24 times. So if you guys want to chat for a bit. You know, you know, there is a, a dice roller you can use right there in front of you. What do you mean? Like, I want to roll them. <laughs> just saying. I just want to. He's got one built in. I, know, I want to do this organically. This is the fun part. Don't take this from me. <laughs> you guys just chat for a little bit. <laughs> give a conversation, butter. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Mm, fine. Let's talk about butter and coffee. <laughs> I don't know if the legit's still out there. I can't. I'm getting verklempt. I can't. It's getting so verklempt. I, 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 I can't. Um, oh. <laughs> to roll 24 tens. Good lord. It's a very soothing sound, the si sound of dice just rolling in the background. I can't wait to get my new uh, ship in the bottle, D20, and see how that rolls. Mm. If it's really cool, I'm going to have to get one. I, I'm, it's I'm supposed to be three and a half inches across. All right, we have it's another a huge, round. It's a huge, oh, it's a huge D20. It. Wow. That is going to be 131 points of damage. Holy oh, fuck, dude. Oh, oh, oh. That's that's even the brutal critical plus some. I know. Yeah. I know. It, I even got a few ones Ruby. in there. There's a new damage daddy in town. Apparently. Look out. 131 so talking. Strike. And like Excalibur comes to me and I slice it out at him. 130 <laughs> what? 131. 31. Whew. I'm just guiding it 
as it just slashes away, chopping away at his pretty little face. <laughs> Bingo. Ruby Shore. DTD. Oh, oh, what oh, the oh, fuck? Oh, oh, all right. Damn. All right, what it does as it's slicing away, it gets around on the back and slices back through his back knees, causing him to fall down to his knees. And then from above, yeah, straight me. down with his head bowed, it just plunges yeah. itself right through the back of his spine. And he falls. Get hit, girl. Nice. It never hit a thing. <laughs> <laughs> The sword returns mm. to my hand, and I turn it to his brother. Are you ready for this? And I will end my turn. Can he see us? I did that, but he may not be able to see me. I can't remember. Is he still blind? Uh, no, he is not blind anymore. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. End of your turn. Oh, wait, wait, my fire elemental. Oh, yeah, it's Henry. still there. It's Henry's still Henry. there. Henry. Henry's been freed. Peeks up underneath the boot. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Henry. <laughs> what do you want me to do now? Let's, uh, let's go attack the other guy, yeah? Oh, fire giant? Okay. <laughs> This will go well. <laughs> All right, we're gonna stick Henry over on our fire giant friend. I don't know if it'll do much, but you know, I don't have anything else. So Henry's gonna try to do a multi attack with fire damage on a fire giant. All right, where are you oh, moving, Henry? For you, Mom. Why not? All right. <laughs> That's an 11. Where are you moving, Henry? Oh, Henry just across right in... Let me move him. Let's see here. What is his distance? Eight feet. Yeah. Yeah, we can just be right here. There we go. So he's now in front of me. So he rolled an 11 on the first one, and the second is only an 18. So Henry... Go ahead and roll for, miss. roll for damage. Oh. Okay. Um, it is... For both attacks? Mm -hmm. um, that is going to be 20 points of damage then of fire damage you heal <laughs> Sertur for 22 points <laughs> damn it mm. Henry <laughs> As Henry comes in with a big fiery hug and reignites Sir Tur's flame on his sword. Cool. Cool, cool, what? cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> As the flames in his hair and his beard raise back up. <laughs> Uh, All that work wasted. Mm. <laughs> oh, cringing. Uh, Henry's turn is now over. All right. 
Anything else? No, no, I think I ended on a poor note there. Okay. You've done enough. <laughs> cool. Kill one, heal another. <laughs> it's balance, right? That's right. That's right. Don't ever say that Ruby was unkind. <laughs> It's confusing. I'm trying to confuse the enemy. Mixed messages. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've all mixed messages after that one. <laughs> Chikios is going to finish opening the portal back behind him. As it winds now to 20, 30, 40 feet. You see a large body step through it. Mm. Mm. As a cloud giant clad in autumn leaves in armor steps through the portal. Nice. Mm. Oh, she's beautiful. She looks down at Chikios and gives him a nod. Alistar the daughter of Sansuri is it. in the initiative order with an 18. <sighs> mm. Ooh. Girl grew up. Mm. All right, that's perfect. She'll slot in right after me. I am going to run across the round to Valis. I am not going to have you die to me on the fourth, the fifth time, not the sixth time, Valis. I'm fine. Get your hands off me. Shut up. You're going to take it. And I spit on my hands and I <laughs> put my hands on his shoulders. And I cast Cure Wounds <laughs> And 17 plus 3 You get uh, you get 20, 20 points of slightly Moister than usual uh, Healing um. <laughs> Gross <laughs> Uh, that will consume action, bonus action. I will, no offense about this, but I, 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 uh, I'm going to take a few steps back <clears throat> and I'm going to back the fuck up. Mm. Mm. All right. <laughs> Alstar is going to run towards Surtur with a large glowing morning star and strike. <clears throat> that is a 22 on the first. I'm going to use my inspiration, my D8. <clears throat> That's an eight. First one will hit. Ugh. She will swing again. Ah! 
she will not be able to find purchase with her second attack. Mm. She's going to do 33 points mm. of piercing damage. Mm. One back up again. She's gonna use her bonus action. <laughs> as you can feel the air and wind in the room begin to whip around as she creates a barrier shield around her of wind, raising her AC by two. All right, Surtur's turn. He's going to swing that flame sword down towards you, Valis. First is a 22 to hit. That'll hit. All right. With this body damage cover, They're going to take 29 points of bludgeoning damage and 17 points of fire damage. They have 22 hit points a piece. 22 hit points a piece. All right. I'm going to have two of them in two of them in front and wiped out. So they're going to have five points of bludgeoning damage is going to come into contact with you. Okay. You will also take the 17 points of fire damage. Damn. Okay. You'll be able to use the next two to step in front. It is going to swing its sword back over at Alistar. Twenty eight, that will hit. That's going to be thirty two points of bludgeoning damage with 20 points of fire damage. It's bonus action, you're gonna see those flames rise up and galvanize over its body again. That will be the end of his turn. Dante, rightfully seeing what happened with Henry. It's just going to fly up in the air. It's gonna take everything he's got just to try to get behind. That will end his turn. Valus, it is your turn. Oh, I'm going to use my bonus action to Misty Step out of here. So, dun, dun. Misty Step back by Chikios. Uh, and then I'm going to. Radio, mm. you got a 1d12 inspiration. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
Let's go. Ooh. Big dog. So I'm going to, uh, Yeah, I actually want to missy step back here so I can kind of shoot the gap and cast the lightning bolt. He's going to make a deck save. Deck save coming up. <laughs> That's a seven, dude. You guys have the fucking dice in your hands tonight. Okay. So me. So that's gonna be uh, as I misty step back and appear in front of Chikyo. So I'm gonna um, just from my fingertips cast a cast just a line of lightning that just um, just kind of shocks the floor and then up through his. Uh, up through his boots and armor. It's going to do 30 points of lightning damage. Nice. And uh, that'll be it. All right. Mister, it is your turn. Seeing how far I am out of the battle, after watching the frost giant in front of me get vanquished, take my focus, move my hunter's mark over the fire giant. Put my fire giant broadsword away and whisper a prayer. Yeah. Misty step my happy ass all the way over here in front of him is my bonus action. And then take a swing with my frost giant axe. Go for it. Let's do that with Divine Smite. Plus, that's gonna be a 30 to hit. 30 will just hit. Oh God. <laughs> what a fucking vicious, vicious AC this man has right now. All right. Damn. I'm sorry for lighting this well, fire. I, I'm, I'm really glad I didn't fucking run Great Weapon Master attack on him then because it would have never fucking hit. Let's give me my Divine Smite dice. Thank you very much. Uh, Hunter's Mark. And I got my hit dice. Um, I forgot to ask, how cold is it up here? I just want to see if I get my 1d6 cold damage. Oh, yeah, dude, it's cold as shit in this room. Yeah, I just, 100%. The first, first, time I, first time I've swung this one, so. Yeah, you're in the side right. of a frozen mountain. I always like to check before I assume. <laughs> All right, damage on this one is going to be... It's 10. Uh, do I need to separate the divine, the, the smite from the other damage? Just double your smite. Just double the smite? Okay, cool. Got it. Oh! Becca, you got a 1d10 from Sin. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Because you know I need it. <laughs> All right. It's going to be 32 points slashing damage with an additional 30 points radiant damage. All right. Strike one. 
Let's try that again. If we can, if we can. Oh yeah, this last one was 50, this one 19. Mm. Fuck yeah. That one's gonna hit. That's 19 plus, no, 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 19 plus 15. 34 to hit. 34 to hit? Yes. Yes, 34 will hit. It's three, three. All right. That is 21 points, 21 points slashing damage with an additional 12 radiant. Mm. Uh, give me give me that overall total again. Sorry, I was laughing when Crick said spit on it on the dice. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, all right, hold on. Three plus three. 21 points slashing damage with an additional 12 radiant damage. All right, I got it. I got it. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and at that point, I've burned bonus action and action. <laughs> I am done except for one thing. I'm going to yell as loud as I can. <laughs> Why is it at this point I forget what we call it, the fucking dragon? What? Dante? Oh, the little wormling Z? The, the little Z, thank you. Yeah. I'm just yeah. gonna yell, Little Z get your ass in here! <laughs> Wanted to call him little Y for some reason, but that wasn't clicking in my brain. Not quite as catchy. You were one letter off. Yeah, you know, I just had to go one more down the alphabet. <laughs> that will end my turn. Mm. I would have been fine with you taking longer because I have no idea what. To... Um, you know what? I'm gonna keep it simple and I'm gonna Eldridge blast his ass. There you go. Blast his ass. <laughs> like literally in the ass or figuratively? Mm. When all else fails, <laughs> cockbolt, cockbolt, cockbolt. Uh... <laughs> So we're, we're gonna opt for that. And it's force damage, not fire damage. Real important for me to know now. <laughs> so we're gonna opt for that instead. All right, total three beams, instantaneous. So at least it hits, All right? On this, so let's do a plus, let me roll this. Let me see what we do. Um, well, that's not gonna be 30, so that's not great. Um, you gotta roll for all the beams. I know, I know. A 30 doesn't hit it. I, I got lower, I got um, a 23. I know that doesn't hit, so let me do something. I am going to use one of my luck. And roll again, I get to attack roll again. Okay. So that will get me up to 27. I'm gonna use my inspiration. Okay, that gets me up to 34. <laughs> 34 will hit. Great. Hit it! Well, I feel like I made the wrong play on that because that was one attack. And I gotta roll three, and I don't think unless I get nat 20, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that. Nope. All right, nope, but we get one of them. Yeah, it probably wasn't the smartest decision, but ideas, yeah. You Can't do realize that you have bardic inspirations. I do, yes. I, was I don't know if you've ever my... used bardic inspirations in your career. No, I have to use them whenever I use defensive. Yeah, whenever you use defensive. I used defensive. to use that, yeah. 
when I do defensive or splashing flourish, and I used to do those quite a bit. I just yeah. didn't want to get close to him with his giant sword, which is why I opted not to use those. But I wanted to try luck instead. I didn't want to do the. I didn't want to get up close. So I was opting for spells at this point. Um, so that's going to be nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do have those. I just I'm saving them for something. <laughs> All right, anything else for your turn? Nah, that's it. Uh, Henry is going to stay in between me and him, and that's it. Henry is purely a barrier. <laughs> and will do nothing to attack him. <laughs> and that's that. With a layer action. <laughs> You're going to see Sutur raise his hand up. And as his hand reaches towards the sky, lava begins to pour out of the cracks in the floor. Spilling out. I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw. Good times. 25. Oh God, I hope. <laughs> I'm gonna use Indomitable. I'm gonna be a 21 on that one. 22. Mm. She gives us a 13, he will fail. No, Chikios. Just a little burn. Alistar will fail. Literally, the floor is lava. Chikios will take 64 points of fire damage. <gasps> Holy lava. Oh. That is some serious ass lava. The zombies get in that one. Zombies are all roasted. That's fair. Does Lothar see this? Uh, oh, you need to roll for uh, Little Z, because Little Z entered the room. What's Little Z's dex? Zero. Saving throw two plus two. Eek. Ouch. <laughs> Radio with the on screen dice. 14. Little Z ain't gonna make it. Damn. You just led him to his death. It's the most hister fucking thing possible. Oh. And the curse continues. Awful, dude. That's really rough. That's really rough, man. Ooh, somebody gets protection. Mister, you see, as you call for little Z, as he flies in that open doorway, Hearing your call, and it dodges out of one spurt of lava up from the floor, flaps to the side, dodges out of the second, 
and then another just straight shot comes up and over <laughs> and the last the last you see of little z Mr. holds out his hand at that moment as if he was trying to cast a spell to stop it. As he sees him disappear into the lava, just slowly drops. You see him look at this fire giant. Grabs his axe. Starts to grind his hands into the grips of it. You can almost see his eyes go white. Alistar is going to continue <laughs> swinging that morning star back and forth. It's going to try to go low back behind the leg. <laughs> Fuck me. That's a three. I'm going to public roll it. Shit. Come on. The 30 20 will not hit. Plus 12, shit. What else do I have? Star is going to use Misty Step. <laughs> and she is going to perch on top. <laughs> of the Stone Giant God. Or not Stone Giant, I'm sorry, Cloud Giant God. Fitting for her. Mm. Very cute. All right, cheeky baby, big ones, big ones. What do we got here? Let's use mass cure wounds at the sixth level, 4d8 plus five for everyone. Twenty-eight points of healing. As Chikios raises his hands with mass cure wounds, you can feel the little fairies and fireflies running over your body, trying to heal up whatever has been scorched, burnt, or cut. With my bonus action, I too am going to Misty Step. <laughs> up onto Alistar's shoulder. I'm getting the fuck off of that floor. What was that? Was that healing amount? I just lost it for my own good. 28, okay.
All right, I'm not dead. But you're not happy? <laughs> Sir with a bonus action is going to spin around pulling an obsidian javelin from his back and is going to throw it at Dante mm. Mm. fuck oh <laughs> I can't even get at it with my sentinel attack either. Can I, uh, far away from me? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Too far. Mm. Protection, do you have to be closer for protection? Yeah, you have to be within five. Yeah. Or I would love to. All right. So many tabs open. <laughs> Where is his? Okay. Dante is going to take 150 points of damage. When he is struck with that javelin, it carries him another 40 feet and pins him to the ground prone. Mm. It's Dante screams out in pain, hooked into the fissure of that ground where you guys last saw the lava rise up. Satur is going to come back around and swing at Hister. That will be a 31. Oh, yeah. He'll get that hit. Mm -hmm. You're going to take 28 points of slashing damage with 19 points of fire damage. Cool. He's going to move into the same spot As your fire elemental with a bonus action ruby you need to roll a wisdom saving throw for your elemental okay how smart is this dude okay not great Nineteen. Nineteen will not succeed. What? Okay. Cool. Is this an attack on him that he's doing? No. Take Shit. Him Son of a bitch. That's a doesn't even, doesn't as, even give me a chance to activate Sentinel. As you see, 
that elemental turn back towards you, Ruby. He's going to take another swing with his sword at you. Yeah, it doesn't show how I can unconjure it. So that's cool. <laughs> okay, it tries to take a swing at me. Am I rolling for it to hit me? Well, no. This is Zutur hitting you with the 31. Oh, it's Zutur. Okay, hitting me. Mm -hmm. With his Going to do second action. 28 points. Okay. Of slashing damage with 17 points of fire damage. All right. <sighs> and that's with his second action. No, his action okay. used one sword strike, two sword strikes. His bonus action was the spell to take over. Okay. All right. That will end his turn. Dante pinned down by this javelin will try to use his strength to pull his body out he will do so with disadvantage the DC is a 28 Dante has a plus 8 hmm Damn. Dante will fail. Yeah. He's going to stay pinned down to the ground. Volus. Mm -hmm. I am uh, going to cast Tidal Wave again, mm -hmm. but trying to hit um, Elemental as well. Trying to. Yeah, you'll be Not able to. This tidal wave. You'll be able to get both of them and miss oh. Ruby and Radio. All right, I'm gonna spit my hand again. <laughs> and uh, he's gonna make it. Do that a day. I have to make a deck save. Uh, the zombies are all dead. Both make a deck save. <laughs> Nat fucking one. There you go. Thank goodness we needed that. This tidal wave will knock him prone. All right, is that is that for both? That will extinguish the fire elemental. See you, Henry. That's twenty one. Uh bludgeoning damage plus the plus being knocked prone get those nat ones in the chat nice i'm just gonna just gonna spit my hand again just mm. blow it out as the giant wave crashes down on him again let's fucking go I don't think there was ever a more essential nat one in the history of this campaign. <laughs> if, he's, if he's getting knocked prone, then I'm going to move back another 30 feet or so. Get out of here, dude. All right. At least he's not going to heal off that elemental anymore. Yeah, that's true. All right, he is currently prone on the ground. Fire elemental is gone. Hister. Is 
still gripping his frost giant axe in his hands. Eyes gleaming white. Whispers a prayer to Bahamut. Gonna swing in. Great weapon master attack. Divine smite. All right, you have advantage. Oh God, thank you. <laughs> that is going to be a 28 to hit. Twenty-eight will hit. Nice. Only because of the tidal wave. Reduced it I, by two. I, 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 there was no fucking way I was uh, gonna hit it without that. Oh, shit. Okay. Am I still parsing out divine smite damage versus uh, regular shit? Mm-hmm. Okay. But here, you know to double your divine smites, just add it all together for me. Okay. I'll just double it. That's my divine smites right there. Thank you very much. All right. This shows you the incredible amount of damage you were able to put for him on one of these avatars versus the second. You did very well isolating. <laughs> no shit. All right. Total damage, 52 points on the first strike. 52 points on the first strike. All right. Swinging around again. Let me see if I've got another one of those available. Cool, I got one more. Bitchin' Camaro. All right. It's plus on that. Oh, I don't know if that's gonna fucking make it. Mm, that's that's not gonna fucking happen. That's twenty-five. Twenty-five will not find purchase. You do have your inspiration left. Oh shit, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, let's go. Make that an even 30. That will hit. Yeehaw! Let's go! Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big time right, community cowboy. inspiration. I forgot about the community inspiration. Was community <laughs> a D8? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, an inspiration right back. Oh, nice. You spend it, you mm. get it. Dr. Death delivering. That was the, the very first one was uh, Olivar. Oh, Halivar. Cool. All right. Up in our team. Total damage. That is going to be 59 points. Another... 59 points of damage. History, you have a 1d10 inspiration thanks to Halivar. Halivar, that right there will save my life. <laughs> if you think I'm joking, I'm not. Uh -oh. Hold on. Make sure that I've, I've got everything that I've, 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 I've wanted to do as I've come here. Oh, yeah. Spending those spell slots. Doing that divine smite. After those two strikes, he's wielding this frost giant axe over this fire giant. You've taken more for me than you'll ever understand! My friends and I will smite you. 
very day in front of your deity, proving our worth. Just watch. That'll end my turn. The end of your turn. <laughs> History's a little on tilt. You begin to see his body raise up. As a geyser of lava begins to explode back behind him. Great. Mr. Ruby, I need both of you to make dexterity saving throws. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fail on that. That's only uh, 12. Ooh, 27 for me. Ruby, you, you will so. succeed. You will take no damage. Mr. you have inspiration. I used it. Oh, no, you got one right back. Oh, I, got I got a new one. Yeah. But yeah. honestly, at, at that point, I've, I've got, remember, I'm a fucking, I'm a fireborn dragon. I got a certain amount of resistance to this. Mm. Okay. All Good right. <laughs> it's true, you're gonna take 33 points of fire damage. Got it. As you can see the ground opening up <laughs> in less than two turns so after actually it'll be on the beginning of Sir Tur's turn lava is going to raise back up through the floor Ruby, it is your turn. Okay. How how does our fire giant look? Looks worn, but in charge. Got it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Istor, how do you look? Uh, I'm I'm fair to Midland. Okay. All right. I am going to cast Cure Wounds on his door. Let me get close enough. I'm not gonna spit in my hands before I touch you or hug you or whatever everybody else is. Not all about that. Not what I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> nope, this is, this is just regular old clean paws. <laughs> clean paws. I mean, so, for you, I mean, it's clean paws. It's never it's really clean, clean paws. Clean enough. It's cleaner than me spitting in them. It's it's better than clean. It's salon paws. It's salon paws. Exactly. Exactly. None of this whatever everybody else is doing. I'm the cleanest healer that you can get right now, okay? Truth. You All were right, me... you were talking about eating the charmed barbarians. But I didn't yet, and now they're dead and it doesn't matter. Well dead again. They died again. And since I didn't dive into them, my paws are still clean. <laughs> You guys wouldn't let me eat the dead guys. Dirty cat. I'm just saying it was an opportunity and I wasn't going to starve. And at least I decided not to eat you all. So realize how much of a cat you really are. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> the ravenous campaign. It sounds about right. Okay. That is going to be 24 points of healing. I will take that shit to the bank. Thank you very much. I'll do what I can. And then I'm going to move away from him. <laughs> Let's see here. I use like head and feet to get to you. Um, I'm going to take an attack of opportunity because he's so freaking close though, isn't he? Um, balls. Why has he got to be all up in my space like this? He's got to disengage, that's all. I don't have a disengage. Everybody has well, to disengage. I wanna, but... Well, I don't want to like disengage, but then I guess I can as my bonus action, can't I? You have something that lets you lets you move. I mean, I can 
and not take attack of opportunity. I mean, there's, I think there's something on your card, but I'm not sure. Uh, no death, he is no longer prone. He has risen back up from the lava geyser. Took a layer action to get back up. Yeah, okay, I'll go ahead and disengage. Well, that's that's considered an attack and not a bonus action, and I use my action to heal his store. Oh, who's got advantage? So I won't be able to use that. I don't think I have advantage. My 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 choice? Okay. Yeah. This engage is listed as an action in combat, but not as a bonus action since I use my action. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. 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 So I can't avoid the action, the attack of opportunity if I move. That's cool. Um, you know what? I'm going to at least sidestep still within his range, but a little bit more up to his we're gonna just turn it around to his right we're gonna circle him we're gonna circle him a little bit so at least if he attacks maybe it won't always hit both of us at the same time he'll have to take two different actions in two different directions towards us all right yeah maybe there that way i don't get for ballast either all right that's Every, my best i need everybody to roll a d20 that's not good uh this one's actually for the <laughs> advantage card Oh, okay. 17. Uh, that's a two. <laughs> Let's get out these awful, awful rolls. All right, Mud, you got the advantage card. Nope. All right. Alistar is going to remove... the gold and orange bow adorned with antlers from her back and take a first shot at Alistar. That is a 26. Still won't hit. God, God damn it. Damn. Ugh. Sucks. I'm going to use my advantage that I got. Get it. <laughs> Two. Oh, fuck me. If I rolled a fucking one. Uh, uh. All right. Mine is gone. <laughs> As that arrow flies true and finds purchase. <laughs> You see these fey kudzu-like vines begin to wrap around him. <laughs> he will make a strength saving throw. Oh, let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's go with a four. Oh, that's gonna be real close. That shit's gonna be real close. <laughs> I want to kick this guy in the fire dick so hard you have no idea. Oh my god. Uh, uh, okay. Where's his card at? Clear that away. Girl's gone. <laughs> 15. 15 will fail got a plus 11 on athletics wow saving throws <laughs> Jesus. is he is going to be bound with vines 
wrapping around him. Alistar is going to take an aim shot at his head as she pulls the bow back. Hit that headshot. Let's go, baby! 28! That'll okay. win! Get it, girl. <sighs> She's going to do... Forty-eight points of damage, and get it. Sultur is now blinded. Oh, mm. solid. Good. Keep it that way. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Hi. Chicky baby. Let's see it happen. Mm. For point of reference, Sultur looks worn at the halfway point. You had Thrym. Damn. He is worn, but he has not been critted upon like Thrym was. All right. Before Chikios' turn, I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw as the lava seeps back up from the ground. Dante will automatically fail. 18. Shit. 24. Oh. 23 18 23 what was yours Valus? 18 18 Valus, you will fail okay Ruby history you guys were both above 20 okay. yep All right, you guys are going to take 28 points. Fire damage? Of fire damage. Let's talk about that. Well, I'm down. No. Dante is immune to fire. Well, thank goodness for that. Ballas. Mm hmm. You will take 56 points of fire damage. Damn. All right, I'm down. seeing that lava raise back up again back up out of the floor pulling ruby valis back down with it
Chikios is going to use his hero point. and use hidden paths twice. First down to grab Ruby Shore. He will have to make a dexterity saving throw himself. Thirteen. The second time. 19. As I snag and drag each one of you into the portal with me. Teleporting you back up. to Alistar's shoulder. I will use my remaining bonus actions Four of them. Ruby, you get seven points of healing. Valus, you get nine points of healing. And I will collapse unconscious. laid back over Alistar's shoulder. That will end my turn. Saturus churn. Going to take a swing with his sword at you, Hister. On his first turn. Twenty nine to hit on the first. He'll make contact on that. Second swing. Nat twenty. Mr. What is your total health points? Sixty four. But I have resistance to fire. This is important. You want to know the full stats? No. I have resistance to fire and force. Immunity to disease, frighten, and poison. 
All that matters is the fire damage. All right, in that first hit, he's gonna do 28 points of slashing damage. <sighs> and 18 points of fire damage. How much health do you have left then? Hold well, on, I'll work that out for you in a second. 27. 27 points. All right. So the second. will be a total of 72 points of damage with the resistance to fire. So what was the damage that you had left? 27. All right, that damage will not overlap your HP total and affect your death saving throws. You were unconscious. <laughs> Fuck. Dante's turn. We'll remain pinned to the ground. Valus. Conscious. I'm gonna, get... I'm gonna sit up and, and look around and see where I'm at and look over at uh, Chikios and look over at Ruby and uh, I'm gonna look back at Ruby. Can you help him? Uh, yes. Good, because he's going to need it, and I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to cast Witch Bolt at the seventh level. That'll be a, uh... I don't is this, was his AC back to 30? Yeah, it doesn't matter. No, it is not 30. Oh, I'm going to have to use my inspiration either way. All right, so that will be 32 to hit. 32 will hit. All right, 7d12 is coming. That'll be uh That'll be 59 points of uh lighting damage. 59 points of damage. As I stand up and pelvic thrust that which bolt out. That's it for my turn. Mister, give me a death saving throw. First one succeeds. All right. Hmm. 
Ruby Shore. It is your turn. Desperate and seeing my friends down, I'd like to cast Cure Wounds and use my hero point to try to extend it beyond just, well, as many as you'll let me in fact. <laughs> Obviously, Cheeky Eos is my first. You have two hands. Okay. Within reach, Chikios and Ballas, and I'm casting it at the seventh level. Woo! Roll that beautiful bean footage. Damn. Gotta have health. All right. All right, that is 44 points of healing to both of you. I'll take it. Thank you. Luck's out of this yet. <gasps> Get up. Uh, uh, we have to save his store. Okay. I can do this. I can, I can get him. I can get him too. Hmm. Let's see. To give us some distance, can I try to make the 30 foot jump? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, you're Ruby Shore. Yeah. Acrobatics okay, check. Anything. Acrobatics throw. All right, and that's going to be DC. my movement. Give me, a, give me an acrobatics check, DC 18. Okay, well, that's easy. That's a 23. Yep. Cool. Only you, DC 18. No, okay. It's yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I'm going to be standing on top of the ice giant's dead body. All right. You pounce down to that position. And that'll end my turn. I think any person in chat who had a divine intervention has tried to roll it in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> We're trying. Can you blame them? We're playing amongst the field of gods. on this. <laughs> All right. I have made a mistake. <laughs> Sir Tur was still bound and blind when he hit you last turn. So here's how I'm going to rule it since we've moved past that point. Searcher will not have a turn this round. Hmm. Fair. That's fair. That's fair. We're going to rule it. We will rule it as a delaying effect that has rolled over his body for storytelling purposes. He will lose this turn in combat. Right. Alistar is going or is going to hold in position still with multiple people on her shoulders. She's going to draw her bow back again.
That'll be a dirty 30. Wow. That's good. We'll take it. 18 will not hit. <sighs> She's going to do 34 points of piercing damage. Technically, you had an inspo that didn't get divvied out, right? From earlier? Can we give it to her? That didn't get divvied out? No, we gave it out. Oh, okay. Yes, one, d one D8. I'm one just d desperate. <laughs> Excuse me for my desperation. Oh, uh, with that, with an 18, she still can't hit. But we can okay. give that inspiration out. If you want me to take it, I will take it. That, yeah. Because I'm the only person who doesn't have one right now. I'll do it. We, all, we need this. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. All right. Chihios' turn. I will use Hidden Paths again. But this time I'm just going because I don't want to disable you from the fight. I'm going to use hidden paths and then cure wounds at the fourth level. Sixteen. 26 points of healing but I'm just going to drag you up the statue of Amon the all father Hister, get up we need you wake up ah! like slap the shit out of you and I ah vomit ah. 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 look what the fuck happened, Chikios? You went under it, but look! He is bound up! His eyes have gone white! You need to go for the start! It's done! <sighs> Man, this motherfucker had a score to settle. Mm. Just took little Z. I'm gonna take his head. All right, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay on the statue with you, Hister, not far back. Just trying to get out of sword swing range. All right, he's going to lose his turn. <laughs> Fighting off the binds. <laughs> All right, Dante. Once again, crying on, to get out. Boy. Get up. Shit. Still mm. pinned to the ground. It's a 16. I have a D8. I'll roll it. Come on, I'm going to burn Dante. my inspiration. See if Dante can pull himself out. It's a three. Ugh. Dante is still pinned to the ground. Valus. I'm assuming uh, Witch Bolts is coming yeah. in. It's 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 maintaining a connection for another uh, ten points of lightning damage. What's that total? Just ten. It only does one d twelve on subsequent rounds.
All right. That's it. Mister, it is your turn. Fuck it. Okay. Can't do great with Maxter attack. I'll lose too much. Let's do Divine Smite. Fourth level. It with is my Hunter's Mark. It is down. The AC is back down now. To 24. <laughs> Still not worth risking losing five. Fuck it. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, that is. <laughs> That's the third one tonight. There it is. Amethyst dice. Get some nat 20s in the chat. All right. All right. And I think we just oh, got an action God. surge as well. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to use brutal critical on this motherfucker. Fair. Fair. I'm on a spin card. As you should. No. Oh, now, I will, I'm going to let you know this. The only way you can play two cards is by action, sir, or is is by hero point. I've never, I didn't play one card. No, on the same turn. Ah, uh, well, I don't have an action, sir, so, so it's fine. No, they just gave you one. Oh, <laughs> they just gave you one. So. It is a oh. gift for you. I'm gonna to let use. you do it. Your, your divine smites, those will be rolled three times. So it's three times your divine smite, twice your damage. Nice. So you just mm. got second wind as well. I don't. <laughs> we get this to the fucking shit. Rains right. down gloriousness. Uh, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna burn brutal critical on that, and I gotta put all my dice together because he's got hunter's mark, and at that level, holy shit, I need fucking every d8 that I have. <sighs> okay. Am I doubling divine smite damage? Or just is three, is three, three the way to go? Okay. Got it. <laughs> so we're fine with that. All right. Let's move those aside. And cry. Two points on the first. Next strike that comes down. Thank you. 152 on the first strike. The second strike is going to be Hold on, your first strike, how much damage? 152. 152. <laughs> yeah. 152. Did, did my gate cut me out on the, 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 yes. one, the one? Yes, it did. Okay. <laughs> 152. 152 on the first. Yeah, that's points. A, that's a big difference. Second strike is going to be uh, 29 to hit. 29 will hit. Going to pull one less Divine Smite.
Second one is going to do 68 points damage. D T D. Nice. Cool. With 30 points to spare. Oh shit! <laughs> man, oh, oh man. Oh, that was ridiculous. Hister enraged with not only blacking out, but seeing little Z be consumed by fire, grabs his frost giant axe with both hands his eyes starting to glow white, pushes himself off and jumps off this stone statue of this giant god with his giant ax in hand, swinging it down through the midsection. And while he's still in air, spinning around almost in a fury attack something you would see out of a barbarian swings back around to pull this axe one more time through the center cavity of this fire giant in front of him and you ride his body down to the ground (laughs) that is where we will end this week I can't take anymore. I'm done. Nice. Done. I quit. That was this noise. They're all dead. <laughs> Horrible I'm fight. Out. Also, one of the grossest fights we've had. Can I just say that? They're just grossest? Gross. Y'all are nasty. Y'all are there nasty. There was nothing gross about this. You blame that on your husband. Don't put that voodoo on me, hey, Ricky Bobby. Listen. You all embrace it. You also gave that hug. Don't give me that. You are equally part of... <laughs> That's not my fault. Yeah. I had to spit because there's no other source of water. <laughs> I had to do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Where frame this dice gonna get the water? and hang this motherfucker on the back wall after three nat twenties in one fucking session. It's time to oh! retire that beauty. No, it's these, dude, bald. these, these are my birthday, not birthday dice, and you know they will roll shitty occasionally, but man, mmm, mmm, my new favorite dice. That was real sweaty. That was real sweaty. Hister with that clutch win at the end. <sighs> that attack was badass. Dude. Once again, further proof that the community <laughs> can change the outcome of a battle with the string loot chests. That's true. That's true. That inspo was also oh, important every step of the way. Lots of clutch oh. inspos. I mean, how are we supposed to hit somebody with a freaking 30? Yeah, 30 <laughs> plus AC? Get out of here! I mean, hey. all my stuff at best is like a plus eight. Like, well, I gotta roll, what, a nat 20 and still not even get close enough? <sighs> Make sure to level up your character sheets <laughs> oh, this weekend. Oh, we to 13! We You're that. 14. 14. 14, let's go! Were you playing at 12? <laughs> no, I was playing at 13. Was okay, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that was 100% reactionary. I wanted to bait you so hard, and it worked. <laughs> if you had done that, I would like, oh. <laughs> Don't look at me. You, play, you just got robbed. <laughs> 14. Need that. Need that. 14. Dude. HP up. I wonder what I'm going to you- get. Dante and Alistar helping still got sweaty. Yeah. Alistar seems pretty darn cool. Oh man, I can't wait. I cannot wait. The conversations next week are going to be great. Yeah, or freaking amazing Greek goddess. Yeah, she's she is now the the Greek goddess of the Fey. I'm fucking stoked. Yeah. She's really awesome. Really glad we had her <laughs> office. Poor Dante getting pinned down. Thank goodness he was. Fuck! Thank God he was. Oh. He was immune to fire. If he wasn't immune to fire, that would have been fucking history tragic times twenty, dude. It was really good. We took the ice giant out at the beginning. Just dead. Dude, 
you think Hister was all broke up over losing fucking Lil Z. Had he lost Lil Z and Dante, oh, but you'd have been sweeping we, him off, off the fucking statue. If we killed Dante tonight, I would have had to go get whiskey drunk. Yeah. <laughs> you, you and me both. I wouldn't have been okay with it. Because I can't handle... Sto- if Dante's story had been told, it'd be a different story. But I can't... I can't... I can't handle the... The you The Utes. The Ute death. Dude, what... One year ago today, if I had to say goodbye to Hister, it would have been okay. I, w- I would have I would have felt all right. There was enough story told there, but everything that's transpired since then, man. If ooh, if, if Hister had died tonight, mm. and there hadn't been Chikios and Ruby coming in with the save. Oh, Did we all of us passed out at one point in time? <laughs> yeah, oh, every- except for Valis. No, Valus no, like, no, went down. I had to use my, I had to use my hero really, uh, point to go fucking scoop him up. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's and right. They went down at the same time. When you tried to save us. Ooh. So, fun and fact. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Tell me, please. Fun fact. I've been... <laughs> There's, there was a penalty for touching Amon. For us being on that uh, statue. Was there? No oh, shit. Yeah. There's a penalty we never we didn't get to. It was like oh yeah, there was there was totally a penalty. What was it? You won't know. Damn. Oh but I wanna know. No, it's part of the story now because at this point we're already there. We don't know what the penalty is because it's part of the story. No, I mean there's not a penalty because it happened too quick. But no, protecting it, the statue. You would have you would have been re- removed by another I was real tempted. by an another activated giant. Oh God! Uh, I'm not going to tell you which one it was. Interesting. Good to know. What was there was something else I was going to tell you at the very very beginning for stay for a spell. I can't remember. I remember you saying something, but I remember what it was. I really thought something real screwy was going to happen at the beginning. In that giant room, I thought, I don't, I have no idea what this god wants. <laughs> that was a real mess of a place. Oh, all of your choices decided everything. So depending on what you said, depended on the combination of giants. Ah, dang it. Really? Is my fault we had the fire giant? No, I mean, the, the honestly, look back at our history. The fire giants and the fucking snow giants, the, 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 the frost giants, have been the ones we have fought with the most. Hill giants have been inconsequential. Sky giants have been a stone. huge piece, but still small. Yeah. And it's more snow about giant. the it's about the words that you said. Uh-huh. What dumb words did I trigger? <laughs> Dang it, I didn't put... I was panicking. Did you hear how stupid I sounded? Ruby does no, not... No, it was... Oh, dude, are you kidding me? Well. Stop, all right, all right, all right. Stop, stop, dude. I will stop you right there. <laughs> Ruby spoke Ruby better it. than any of us could have. It was, it was definitely... Fucking, not God. She Ru- did not Ruby's speak moment. in the most humblest manner. <laughs> uh, no, but I mean, you don't want to necessarily... It was Speaking her. Speaking of humble her merit style. to God. I mean, it was truthful. Yes. And it, it was, was the, very honest. It was the perfect encouragement <laughs> from Hister <laughs> without being overbearing. And you get oh, to I find did. out the consequences of your choices. Oh, man. I love consequences. I do have the Ifrit armor, but... Because it was so heavy and it slowed my speed down, I decided not to put it on originally. And when we had discussed that, we had also talked about whenever that episode was forever ago, that I would have to make sure that I choose to put it on. And I thought it would be really weird if I did a clothing change in the middle of the battle. I changed weapons. Why the fuck not? <laughs> well, clothing is a little harder than Ar- weapons, let's be clear. Swapping the armor on ain't, go- ain't happening. 
Yeah, yeah. So I figured like it'd be nice to put on the Ifrit armor, but at the same time, it, it just I missed that opportunity. Like if I know we're going to go fight fire giants, sure I'll put it on. But maybe you should find a way to make that armor stealthier. <sighs> what can I paint it black or something? <laughs> No one will see me now. One amazed knows how to work that shit. <laughs> the problem is my dexterity is all my strength, and so when I put on something that's so bulky, mm. I would I definitely have to think yeah. about it. Down. Down. I mean, no, 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 no. <laughs> we survived this time. This time I survived. Time. Lots of panic. Five. That's how game of saving throws has always been. We survived. This time. This time. Five five hundred point avatar fucking giant gods are no joke. Yeah. Yeah. I no not joke. even like it's the giant it's the giant gods children. <laughs> yeah. These like demigods essentially. These are then? the individual gods of uh -huh. their respective people. Amon is god over the top of them. These okay. are these so, are like, these Zeus were normal. Then... Zatur and Thrym were mortals at one point in time, but ascended by taking their people to a different level. So there is a way for a mortal to become a god. There you go, Ruby. Raven mm -hmm. Queen, Raven Queen. Well, that she's not been in this campaign, but she was a mortal. Yeah. There are handfuls of mortals that have done so. Light bulb. Got it. <laughs> Something about those fire giants, though, man. Satur, man, he scared the shit out of me. Yeah. Fire got resistance to fire. Fire giants are fucking ruthless and Especially nasty. You cast a fire oh. elemental and heal them all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oscort, Oscort, all me. their fire. You know what? It's example. better, better that I did it and we learned it than Don. <laughs> Freaking healing. I spit all over it, dude. Better. Just, I didn't <laughs> get rid of it all. It was only 20 anymore. points. <laughs> it was 20 points. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. That would have been that would have been net 10 point gap then. <laughs> After that last final blow. He relit all his fire too though. He wasn't gonna be able to use his fire. I know. Oh, I'm sure he would have got his fire sword back at some point. Yeah. Probably would have just had to take like a turn or a bonus action to Oh, light that back up. dude, my heart dropped when I realized that I'd fucked up that round where he was supposed to be blinded and fucking restrained. I was like, no, but it worked out. That's it's it's how you do it on the fly, man. Yeah, you rework it back in improvisational interactive D and D on the interwebs. <laughs> That's how it goes. Uh. Ridiculous great episode guys uh i look forward to all the story that we get to delve into right off the bat i'm glad we don't have to carry over the emotion of that into another week mm -hmm. it I just doesn't heal. transfer <laughs> it's just gonna be a brooding fuck anyways i mean he lost little z <laughs> yeah that's how weird. many white dragonborns are you going to kill Dude, I honestly, I got a belt that I'm just putting notches on at this point. Oh my god. Everything the only I touch turns to ash. <laughs> Dante's Literally, the only other it's, dragon it's, that's not that's not died. It's it's it's, it's the it's the fucking it? curse. Every fucking dragon or dragonborn history touches turns to ash. Yeah. Must be something in the family. The only thing, the <laughs> only reason that Dante didn't discuss this was immunity. <laughs> Otherwise, he would have been in rough shape. You well, were probably. so close to taking death saving throws on that. When you had to calculate your damage. So close. Oh well, everybody. Drink a drink a glass of water, take a cold shower. Like the rest of us. Oh, you're getting bonus pupper action. Oh in there. Love up on your pets. <laughs> we will see you guys next week be good to each other and keep washing your damn hands <laughs>